All right, let's go, chat. How are y'all doing today? Cheers to social. Oh, hope you're having a good one. There we go. Screen's up. Coffee's up. Cheers, everybody. Hope you're having a good one. Let me turn the music down. You're listening to the Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart soundtrack. It does not get muted. I checked it on my VOD. It does not get muted, so we can use it. Unlike lately, I've been... Because uh, I like to play the soundtrack to the game that we're playing as intro music. Um, but lately, every single soundtrack I've tried since God of War, it's muted it on the VOD. But uh, apparently this one doesn't get muted. So at least it didn't on the last VOD. So uh, I'll run with it until, uh, until it does anyway. Uh, yeah, I need somebody to pull Pippity off the ladder. At least give him a challenge. Give him a run for his money. I don't want him to go... I don't want him to get back up to the top of the ladder uncontested. And Meme, you're just the man to do the job. Or Salem's, if she's around. Or any, any member of chat. Apple trees might be in the background lurking. <clears throat> you just confirmed that Salem's got Friday's Wordle. We're gonna need a re-review of the tape from Friday's Wordle. Was it not you? Was it Salem's? Am I wrong? Am I wrong in my memory? I thought you got it. Didn't you get it? Didn't you get it with the word bride? Wasn't it bride and two for you? Am I am I that messed up in the brain? Am I not remembering the days correctly? I'm okay, I'm gonna have to go review the tape. Who? Okay, hang on. Let me look it up. Let me look it up. I thought you got it on the second guess. Let me see here. Going back, I'm winding it back. Am I remembering things incorrectly? Oh, 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 it was space. It was space. So Bride was, okay. So Bride was Thursday and space was, space was, uh, space was Friday. Okay, I take it back. So it's Salem's then. You guys shut up about your three-day weekend, all right? I had enough of you guys celebrating a three-day weekend. I don't have a three-day weekend. What is this three-day weekend shit? I got to put up with all your asses at work, all celebrating your three-day weekend, drinking beers and being loud, all right? Stop it. <laughs> I need to hit the reset button. I could, I could use one of those. Can I have a reset button? I gotta go into the maddening crowds and the yelling throngs of people. It's like, it's like, it's like, uh, it's like going into the stock. Yeah! <laughs> it's like going into the. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's like it's like going into the stock exchange with everybody yelling and screaming all at the same time. This weekend, right now, it's one year from our Vegas trip. Oh, I enjoyed our Vegas trip. I saw a cool place on a, uh, there was a place that we didn't go, which would have been a lot of fun. I don't know if it was, I don't know if it existed last year though. There's a place in the Venetian, uh, which was the place that we were hanging out when uh, I was showing you guys the, we were listening, we were sitting on a slot machine on, remember we were sitting on the poker slots right next to the nightclub with all the, uh, all the noise going on in the Venetian just before we walked back to, uh, to the flamingo do you remember that we we're sitting in the venetian playing uh wild twos poker and i was we were trying to hit the four twos which i eventually hit with burn after you guys had taken off but um there's a place there on the second we were remember we were walking around in the kind of like the second floor where there was like a lot of stores and shops and stuff there's a place there called flight club fli f-l-i-g-h-t flight club and it's a really cool place where they have um this really, um, it's basically a, a bar, a pub with food, but it has uh, super fancy dart board setups with um, kind of cool seating and um, um, it's all electrified. It's all like, it's a real dart board and stuff, but you, you can play a bunch of different, there's an electric um, interactive terminal where you take a picture, each member of the team takes a picture of themselves and they have a multitude of different games and it's a combination of throwing darts and playing this video game on a screen and has instant replay and all these really cool things and they've got great food for good prices and fancy drinks. It would have been a fun place to go. I don't know if it existed when we were there, but I saw it on a like someone's video log. They were doing a vlog about Vegas and they were talking about uh, places, cool places to do, cool places to go and things to do. Same same kind of vlog that I snapped I snap that shot of the escape room. That would have been a lot of fun. There's a dart game, uh, 
for throwing at a board but missing. Is there a dark game for throwing at the board but missing completely? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. There, I was watching the guys. They were playing this game called Donkey Run, where it's like every player is a donkey and your face you take a picture you don't have to have a picture of your face you can you can use the emotes on the game but basically you take a picture either it's an emote or your face and they put it on the donkeys and the donkeys are all so there's like above the dartboard there's like a big graphics screen and all the donkeys are all at the start line and you're racing by throwing the darts and you have to hit certain things they come up with things that you have to do like challenges on the screen and then you have to try to do that with the darts and then if i think they handicap you so if like you're in the lead if your donkey's in the lead, then they're gonna say, hit a bullseye or hit the 25 center circle. Uh, and if you're in, if you're tailing, it's like, uh, you know, it's a wide space, like hit a single number, hit a one or hit a seven. And they and so they try to keep the race close and make it fun. And they have like drinking games and stuff. It looked like a really fun place to go. Hi, Salem's, how are you? Salem's, I have to, I owe you an apology. Um, I misremembered uh, Pippity Poppity. I misremembered Pippity Poppity winning Friday, but it, we did. We uh, Pippity reviewed the tape. It's not Pippity. It's you. You are the MVP with the word. Um, now nah, I've forgotten the word. Skate, scale, skate, something. I forget. Um, but uh, you are the you are the MVP. Uh, so I apologize for misremembering it as being Pippity. I was remembering Pippity's second guest bride. Uh, but you uh, you space. That was it. Yeah, space. So Salem's. You won the other day with the word space. So you are the MVP, and every and you're standing on the first rung of the ladder, and everybody's trying to pull you off the ladder. So uh, you get to guess the first word today. I misremembered it. We're playing Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. It's super fun, super uh, cute, very colorful, very busy. There's been the only when this game first launched on PC, I guess it got trash. It got like a two out of ten on Metacritic, even though the PlayStation 5 had an 8.5 out of 10 because I guess it was a really shitty port. They must have patched and fixed it because it runs... Oh, wow. It looks great and uh, plays great. Uh, there are a couple of times I did notice when we were playing it day before yesterday where it, it took a dip in frame rate. I, it felt very stuttery at a couple, of, a couple of spots. But apparently the big complaint on the PC Steam version was that it was crashing all the time. I haven't had any crashes or problems that way. Knock on wood. So hopefully... Hopefully that's all fixed and it stays that way. But before we jump into that, let's do the Wordle. Salem's the MVP is here. Let me get the Wordle up. And, uh, oh, I already had this set up to go and for some reason it reset itself. So let me quickly fix this and get this back to, uh, get this back to a playable condition. I don't even remember, I don't even know which one of these I'm supposed to use to, is it this one? It's not this one. This one? Try this one. There we go. All right. Got it ready to go. All right. Wordle is ready to go. Let me bring it up. And uh, Salem's, if you've got your first word, that's not it. Where is it? Oh, I know what I'm doing wrong. Whoops. I know what I'm doing wrong. I'm, I'm doing it like I'm on the console. Chad, give me a second. All right. Here we go. Put it. Oh, my God. Put it here. All my wind. I do, you know what? I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of the win you know if you're if you're using Windows 11 which probably all of you are I'm not a fan of that whole when you drag a window it gives you all these multitude of options of ways that you can split your windows I'm not a fan of that because because it gets in your way all the time every time I slide a window across it drops that menu down of all those different things and I, I, I automatically move my window up to the top middle like I slide my mouse over to the top middle and it automatically selects whatever is on the overlay when it drops it so it so I'm going to slide it over just to bring the window over, and the the, the, the drop down drops down, and it grabs whatever this whatever the wherever my mouse is. It puts my windows like that, and I don't like that. You could probably turn that off. I don't know if you can or not, but I'm not a fan of that. Just not a fan of Windows 11. I have Windows 10 installed on your gaming PC. Do you? Do you, so? So you have more than one PC? You well, you probably have Windows 11 on your laptop. Is, did it come with Windows 11? I don't remember how long ago you bought your lot. You obviously you've got both, one on one and one on the other, and you prefer the ten. I don't mind eleven. I just there's some things about it I don't like. Some things about it which things they did to make it more convenient, I guess. But it, for me, it's not more convenient. Uh, your laptop came with Windows 11, yeah. All right, Salem's. Let's go, baby. What do you got for me? What do you got for me, Salem's? Don't let these boys push you around. Although I hope they give you a. I hope they give you a run for your money. 
I hope they give you a run for your money. The other thing, meme, is uh, after Pip left and uh, we were we were running around. Uh, where, where were we? You and I. We had ourselves a little uh, slot win, right? Remember that? Where was it? Was it in? Uh, I think it was in Bally's, uh, which is no longer Bally's. It's the Horseshoe now. They things change quick in Vegas. After you had, after we said goodbye to you, Pip, in the daytime, uh, Meme and I did a little uh, did a little running around. And we went over to the uh, to the Bally's casino. We put like uh, I think it was like ten bucks each. We put like a total of twenty bucks in the slot machine. We hit for like 80, 86 bucks or something. Uh, we had ourselves a little victory. We had a bunch. <laughs> Let's go. What you got for me, Salem's? I forget what machine we were playing. We were just goofing around. What, well, what happened was we contacted Burn because uh, <clears throat> Burn was going to meet up with us later. I think he slept in because was that not the? I think that was the night after his uh, night out with uh, with his uh, cop friends at the at the at the hair band concert. He was a little hung. We came with 200 cash and we left with at least 120. That's right after buying weed, tipping those places and doing the occasional slots. <laughs> That's not bad. That's not bad, sir. That's all right. That's all right. You did okay. If you if you get out of Vegas with only spending 80 bucks and doing all those things, then you did all right. <laughs> you did all right. Let's um let's play this wordle. Where are you at, Salem's? What you got for me, girl? Where's that word? Hey, seconds, what's happening, man? That's because quick spot. I did not buy all your meals. I did not buy all your meals. Definitely spent more than 80 bucks. <laughs> not only, but hey, listen, you got a nice walk in the, you got a nice long walk in the dark. I made sure you guys got your exercise in the heat. I made sure, for those of you that don't know, I, on one of the, on our, one of, the, on one of our last days, uh, we were gonna go to uh, we were gonna go to like uh, do like a, do the typical Vegas thing and go to uh, like a sexy dance review show at the Flamingo. But instead, we decided to because uh, I think well I forget why there was a reason was it was it because it was sold out or they didn't have good seating or there was a lineup or something. In the end, we decided not to do it. We went to uh, go check out a couple of the, of the newer casinos, which I knew the guys would like. Uh, the titty show, yeah. And we instead decided to go check out a couple of casinos that I knew the guys would like. And uh, I misremember, typical Quicks fashion, I misremembered where the stop was on the monorail. And if you've been to Vegas, everything is looks close, but it's actually a long walk. And we ended up going, I think, one stop too far. And we had to walk back. So instead of just getting back on the monorail and going one stop back, which would have been the smart thing to do, I said, ah, it'll be all right, we can just walk it. <laughs> and it ended up being like a 40 minute walk back. <laughs> uh, seeing the on court in the Venetia was probably better than the TD show. There were, there, those are really beautiful, nice properties. Those are really nice properties. And Pip, I don't know if you've ever checked it out, but um, you should uh, you should check out the, the rooms at the Venetian. Well, the Venetian and the um, it's it's uh, the Palazzo. It's all one. It's the second largest hotel complex in the world. Uh, the Venetian Palazzo. It's all connected with that shopping mall and all that stuff. There's two casinos there, two towers or more than two towers. Um, those hotel rooms are all suites. Every single hotel room in the Venetian Palazzo our uh our uh large bathroom large bedroom and a sunken living room every one of them has it with floor to ceiling windows um you can it, yes and no pip it just depends when you go yes you could it just depends when you go the 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 Vene uh the encore and the win are always pricey they're always expensive the venetian and the palazzo quite often have sales on quite often you can get sales there you know the reason is because there's just that's so big it's so big. They have so many rooms there that uh, they they would they would rather lower the price and sell out than uh, keep the price high and not sell out. The reason being is the more people they can have in house, the more money their casinos make. That's where they really make the money. 
Uh, so they would rather they would rather lower the price and pack out the casino. Sorry, pack out the hotel so the casino stays busy than keep the price high and uh, not sell out and have less traffic in their casinos. And they've all they've also got all that shopping complex and area and food court and everything. So the, the Venetian the Palazzo, although they can be pricey, uh, if you go like if you go like during CES, if you go during CES or the Adult Video Network Awards or sometime like that, then yeah, it's pricey. Or if you like, I think this November they're having Formula One in Vegas, right? They're they're racing down the strip, and all the hotels are going to be crazy expensive. But um, if you pick a, a, an off-season time like Christmas time, where it's a lot cooler, you'd probably like that pip in the winter. Like, cause it, Vegas doesn't really get a winter. I mean, it gets cold there. It can get cold there, but uh, being the desert, but uh, it's off season time is a lot cheaper and it's cooler for walking around and stuff. You know, it's more normal. It's like not so uh, dry out your skin. You're having alcoholic drinks, AU blue raspberry vodka soda tastes like a blue slushy with vodka in it. You're drinking that right now. You're enjoying your long weekend. All of those of you who who have long weekends, not me. I don't have a long weekend. <laughs> Although I will say, I will say it has been quieter. It wasn't. It wasn't like stupid, ridiculous, nutty, uh, crazy Saturday night like it normally is. I think that's because a lot of parents are spending their last hurrah with their kids before they ship the kids off to school. A lot of people gone to cottage country. A lot of people. Swimming, getting that last barbecue and swim in the pool before they put the cover on it. You were working today, nine-hour shift. So you're with, so you're with me, Salem. So you're, you're, des you deserve it then. You deserve. You were working today. You deserve to put your feet up and relax. And you already gave me your first word, and I haven't typed it in yet. Straw. Let's do it. Straw. Survey says. Wow. Wow. That's really good three letters none of them in the correct place but that's three times better than normal well played well played where are we going now do you, do you suppose it might be do you suppose they might be trying to do like a sneaky w word i say water but there's no r it could be a sneaky w word where would you put the w if it's not at the end like, if it's not at the beginning, or it's not at the end, it would have to be, like, the second letter, wouldn't it? I would think. I don't know. I don't know. Watch. Watch, says Pippity. He's coming strong. Watch out. Watch out, Salem's. He's coming for you. Watch, says Pippity Poverty. Not watch. Not watch. So it's not at the beginning. It's not at the beginning, and it's not at the end. Interesting. Maybe it starts with a T. T T W. Swa T W A. No, I don't know. Swath. Hey, seconds coming strong. Why can't? Oh, because there's no H. There's no H. You're right. I see what you're saying. Never mind. There's no H. Good, good try though. Good try though. O N O S N O S. No H or S. Uh, twang. Let's try that. Twang. What do you got, meme? Not twang. Not twang. But the W and the A are now correctly placed. Your brain isn't working. I'm working on my second coffee. Second. So, my brain. My brain is. I woke up today with. I didn't have a headache, but you know, right? The, you know, the two strings in the back of your neck, they're really tight today. I don't know why. The back of my head right here, it's really, really tight. I might have just slept funny. I don't know. But it it's really stiff and tight in there. I don't know why. Maybe I had cold air blowing on it. I don't know. You hate Armored Core 6 as much as Pip hates Elden Ring. Really? Why? What is it about Armored Core 6 seconds that you don't like? And you want to love it. So your heart is broken because you're just an absolute dog shit at it. Oh, wait. You hate it because you're not good at it, or you hate it because it's way too hard for you. It's, if it's too hard for you, then it's probably too hard for me. Oh, wait, says Pippity. 
No, it can't be a weight, Pippity. Oh, yes, it could. It could be a double A. Yeah, yes, it could. A W A I T. A weight. Now keep in mind, if it's keep in mind, if it's not a weight, we've only got two guesses left, chat. So we can't we can't be um, not saying that you are, but we can't be like sort of slap happy, lackadaisical with our guesses because we've only got we got to be we got to try to target our guesses a little stronger for the next two. If this if this isn't it, because this is a good guess, a wait. It's over. It's over. You didn't need my speech. Pippity poppity comes in, pulls Salem's off the ladder. How does he do it? How does this man do it? How does he do it? Unbelievable. He, there it goes again. He's done it again, chat. <laughs> he's cemented as the MVP. He's not letting anybody. He's got three girls in the car this time. He brought an extra girl with him this time. <laughs> it's He's got twins. There's twins in the car, as well as some other girl. Well done, Pip. Well done, that man. You were stuck on a mission, you came back a few days later, you got stuck on the very next mission, and you threw your controller. Wait a minute, seconds, are you a controller thrower? Are you are you from the burn and turn school of, uh, of uh, video game frustration? He's cemented as the MVP, he's hard to, he is definitely hard to move off MVP. Pippity Poppity is a man of words. He's a man, if we, if we ever like, uh, well, I shouldn't say if we ever. When we next get together for a, for a QuixCon, we need to do something like uh, we need to do like they do in England. Apple Tree can attest to this, where they do maybe Salem's can as well, where they do the um, where they do like the pub trivia nights. Uh, we need maybe a, maybe we go to Wales. We'll go to Evil Con and uh, we'll uh, go do a, like a pub trivia night. We'll all eat like fish and chips or mad pub food like pasties and fries and stuff and do uh, do pub trivia. You're terrible at pub trivia. I don't believe you. I don't. The only problem is if we do that over in the UK, it'll be all British trivia. They'll, all of us will be in the same boat. They'll be like, "What famous British television series?" And we'll be like, "I don't know." Brain is too much like a scrambled egg. <laughs> Fortunately, you threw it on the couch, so it was fine. Ah, oh, see your, your, see, see, you, your, you have, you have the rage in you, but you have enough self-control to know that you, you, you put safety measures in place. You ever see those things that you can buy? That that uh, I think Burn posted it once on memes or something. Uh, that you can fit over your controller and it's like you put your hands inside it and it's like a big pillow your controller is like inside and like you blow it up you inflate it and like so you're, and it has two openings for your hands so you, you're playing with your controller but it's like a big pillow over your controller so when you throw your controller you can't hurt it you ever seen those I know the burn I think burn posted that once all right let me get uh, let me get uh, ratchet and clank up last thing we did on ratchet and clank was rift apart was uh the arena fight Pippity poppity says your mother had two openings for my hands last <laughs> night so Which are God. Too Ew. Ew. <laughs> for your hands not just your fingers oh my god oh my god um last thing that we did on ratchet clank rift apart was the arena we went to this bar to find pierre the pirate French guy who uh, we're, we're playing as Rivet. Pierre needs, sorry, Rivet needs a part for uh, for Clank so that Clank can talk to Ratchet. Uh, we can link, hook up together. And Pierre said, you can't get it without fighting me first. Or he, cha she, he challenged her to a fight. So there's this arena. We did this big arena battle against all of his fellow pirates. We won the battle. We got the part. We connected to Ratchet. And uh, Clank and Ratchet kind of uh, spoke to each other about where they're at. Uh, and then we left the bar. And as we left the bar, um, I forget who it was in chat. Someone said that uh, the, the arena fights are, uh, are good to do. Like you can, uh, 
you can get some uh, good re good weapons or rewards or things. So maybe what we'll do is we'll turn around, we'll go back into the bar. Maybe we'll do one more arena challenge before we before we strike strike off into the next part of the main story. Let me hit play. Shut up, quick. So let me hit play. We'll start firing it up, and we'll see where we go. I've heard of the shocker. Meet the new king, the popper. <laughs> the f the fister. The hand, the, the hand, two hands, the two hands are. <laughs> you got me thinking about Vegas now. This Vegas talk, you got me thinking about, uh, got me thinking about uh, QuixCon, won't be this year, but. Pip, are your plans still uh, in place to go to Texas this year? Are you still going down to, uh, to do the Texas thing in uh, November? I think you said November, right? Is the game working? Oh yeah, it is. It's in the background. Let's go. Let me turn off the outside music. Safe. Zoom. This game is is uh, I recommend this game. This game is super pretty, super pretty uh, and uh, fun to play so far. Uh, it's been running really well. I don't think you can get it very cheaply though. I think I was a friend of mine at work was asking me about it. And uh, it's still 80 bucks on Steam. And CD Keys, you can get it for like 10 bucks off. It's like 60 bucks on CD Keys. I don't know what it is on... Uh, Hi there. I don't know what it is on uh, PlayStation 5. But usually the console versions are uh, more expensive. Or, or the same price. But uh, it's super fun to play and super pretty. Responsive. Let's go back to the arena. And do another arena battle. Let's do one more as a warm up so I can remember all the controls. Have I unlocked any fun guns yet? Oh yeah, I got some I got some cool guns. I got this thing here, the sprinkler, the topiary sprinkler. This thing is like uh, you throw it and it lands on the ground and it acts like a lawn sprinkler and whoever it sprays it turns them into like uh, an immobile hedge for uh, for the first hit. That one's pretty cool. It's fifty nine ninety nine on Steam. Just check. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm t I sh I'm I'm talking about Canadian dollars. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm talking about uh, Canadian bucks. Seventy nine ninety nine here in Canada. I should have I should have uh, specified. Check on CD oh, Keys, Reg. If you no, look on no, CD Keys, yes. which is the British. Um, but uh, yeah, get shrubs. We need a shrubbery. Let's do another. Let's before we move on main story. Let's do one more arena battle, so that I can refresh myself on the controls. There you go, forty-four thirty-two, like ten dollars cheaper, right? So if you were gonna get it, that would be the place to get it. Just make sure that you get the a version that's usable in your region. So. Sir, We've got silver and gold. Maybe we should do both. Arena announcer. That Why is, does um, it say prove your worthiness wait. two out of five? We completed the bronze challenge. Why does it say two out of five? I don't understand that. And this is still locked. So you're saying I have to do the bronze challenge five times? But I only ever did it once. We only ever went into the arena once. So why would it say two out of five? I could see it saying one out of five. I guess I don't have a choice because these two are locked. I don't know why it says two out of five, but let, let's do this. Welcoming committee, defeat Pierre's crew. Oh, I see. Defeat Francois. Oh, okay. So it's, it's okay. So we did go in once, but we had, so we defeated Pierre's crew and then we had the boss fight. And they're counting those as one and two. 
So we've still got this one to do. The Boomstick Blast. Defeat 25 goons using only the Enforcer. Which is what? My shotgun, right? So I have to use shock. This is a shotgun run. So I got all I got to do is kill 25 people with a shotgun. I think that's what the Enforcer is. Yeah, they only give you the Enforcer. So, okay. Let's do it. Where are they at? Where are they at? I'll keep zooming around till they show up. Oh, here they come. Are they gonna come over to me or do I gotta go to them? Oh, I got the wrong gun out. Won't it switch? Doesn't it switch? Wait, wait a second. I can't, they're not letting me switch guns. I'm on the selector wheel. What am I doing wrong? I'm on the selector wheel. There we go. No, but it's... I don't understand. Why can't I bring my shotgun out? It's according to this, it says I only have the shotgun. But it won't let me bring it. That didn't make any sense. That didn't make any sense. Let me try it again. Maybe once you switch to the to the hammer, you screw it. They, there's my shoddy. Maybe I screwed it up by switching to the hammer. You can't switch back. So I've got to shoot these. I don't know. I got it now, so I'll just... I don't think I can shoot from this far, though. I didn't know that was a pop jump. See, my hammer's out again. Why is my hammer out? I'm confused. Oh, there we go. It keeps switching. Why am I dying so quick? Why am I dying so quick, Chad? Is my health that low? Are they gonna come to me? Do I have to go to them? Because if I try to go to them, I get shot to death. Why is my hammer out again? Understand why they keep taking away my gun. Why do they keep taking my gun away? What's going on? Wow. Why do they keep taking my gun away? I can bring the gun out. Pippity was right by aiming, but then when I go to shoot, it switches back to the hammer and he throws the hammer at them. Try again. <laughs> and they don't give you much health. Like you get hit a couple of times and it's over.
Okay, that's two down. How much? Where's my health at? 23 out of 30? Is that my health? We're doing better this time, I think. I'm 20 out of 30. Where do I get a health up? Oh, this one over there. Bump. I gotta keep looking for the health ups. What's this? God, they're wrecking me. I need health, don't I? I'm only 8 out of 30. I gotta get health. Where's there any health? There's no health around. How am I supposed to do this without any health? Try again. Maybe I'm not leveled enough. Maybe we're too early in the game to complete this level. Like, literally, I get hit by three shots and I'm dead. They're not putting up any health to get. Do I gotta wait for them to come to me? Like, if I jump across, I get hit too much. They're never coming to me. They're never coming to me. And I can't hit them from this distance. And if I run to them, I get killed. Find more health. I gotta keep my eye on where the health's at. I gotta keep moving. So they can't get a line on me. How many more do I need? Probably a lot more. Is there, is there a counter? I'm out of ammo. Where's the ammo at? So not only do I gotta get health, but I gotta get ammo? Jesus! Where do I get ammo? Is there an ammo box around? Over there? I got 10 out of 25 down. That's not good enough. I'm out of ammo again. Oh my god. They make this they don't make this easy, do they? Where's the health at? Over there. I'll never get over there in time. Oh my god. 16 out of 30. Oh my god. I'm out of ammo again. No! God, this is hard. Oh, they don't count that though. That's all right. You can do that. You can fall in the drink. You can fall in the drink and not be out. Get undercover. I gotta find a box. What am I at? 23 out of 30. I need the ammo. I need the ammo over here. Okay. Hey, 
Oh, they got... Oh, my God. Five out of 30, Chad. Hit it. Dodge. Dodge. 21 I need. What's my health at? Eight out of 30. I'm in trouble. There's no health around. No. Where's the health? I need health. Is there a health box anywhere? There's, these guys are too far away. I need, there's no health box. Give me a health box, for the love of God. I gotta get the ammo and finish this job, I guess. I got ammo, but I don't have health. Keep dodging. Here. Dodge. No! Oh my god, this is rough. They don't they they just immediately they just completely stopped giving you health. I had three more to kill. Find that face courts. I had three more to kill and they just refused to put any health boxes up there. All I needed was a health box. Don't know how Death Stranding is for a stream, but it's a 10 out of 10 Kojima experience. I'm never, I am never streaming Death Stranding. It ain't happening, meme. I'm glad you love it, and I'm glad Pippity Poppity loves it. But every time I watch someone stream that, I fall asleep. I can't watch that. Maybe to sit at home and play on my own and build some bridges and deliver some packages. There's, there's no way I'm gonna stream it though. <laughs> I'm, I'm not making fun of the game. It's just not for me. It's just not my thing. You can't change weapons. No, you have to. The whole thing is defeat 25 goons using only the shotgun. Not allowed to change weapons. There, is, actually, when you go in here, they they don't give you any other weapons. You've only got you've only got your wrench and the shotgun. That sucked. That was so close, but they just stopped giving you health. They just stopped giving you any health. I don't want to use the health box until I absolutely have to. Because I know they're going to limit it. I'm going to have to make more use of the teleport jumps. Get that guy down. He just won't die. I'm out of ammo already. Where's the ammo at? Oh, of course, put a grenade on it. Do I get the ammo or do, you, do they destroy it? Freaking mines they blow up. Now I'm out of ammo again. Oh my god, you don't get much. I don't want to go over there. I'm 5 out of 30, I need health! That's only 15 health. Now I'm 6 out of 30, one hit I'm 6 out of 30. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. They don't give you... This is BS! They don't give you any health for this fight! 
Oh my god, and this is bronze level? I must be not leveled enough for this. Maybe my gun isn't leveled enough. All right, try again. guys that fly around and drop Come on I'm out of ammo. I got the health but no ammo. Grr! And there's no way across. There we go. Juke these guys to get the ammo over here. Okay, there's a little one down. I'm out of ammo again? How can I? I only took a few shots. How many more do I gotta get? I'm only at 11. I'm at five health? Bullshit! Keep them guessing. I'm out of ammo again. Oh my god, where's the ammo at? I need help. That, that sucked. Die! I'm out of ammo again. This sucks. They don't give you enough shit. No health here. Hit it! Hit it! Thank you. Okay. Oh, you can't hit these guys. Come here. 22. I'm out of ammo again! You gotta be kidding me with this!
I get like three shots in and I'm out of ammo. Alright. I need two more. Don't you run me out of ammo. I need one more. You gotta be kidding me! I need one more and I'm out of ammo? Get over there. Come here. Oh my god. <laughs> That's hard. Are you guys losing frames? You can't though, Pip. That's the problem because you have they're they're far away from you, so you got to teleport over to where they are, jump over to where they are, and all the while you're jumping over and flying into the air because it's too far to jump. They're shooting you, so they're blasting you, and then your health is gone, and you got to run back to get your health. Are you guys dropping? Are we, are we dropping frames? Is it, was it was it just the game was choppy? I don't think we dropped frames in the game though. It says I'm at a 4% drop frames. So we are dropping frames. Not a lot, though. That was rough. 3 out of 5. What's, what's it say now? There's more. Awesome bug tracks done quick. Time trial. Finish the speedel course. Do I really want to do this? I'm going to look at it. I'm going to look at it. I may, I may have had my fill of the arena for now. I may go... <laughs> And do main main story and level up a bit. What is this? Let's look at it. What I've got to do is this a parkour thing? Falling off my steed. Oh God! What are we doing? Oh shit! Oh my god. This is kind of cool though. This is kind of cool. Probably not going to be fast enough. Oh, I missed it. Damn it. Try again. Try again. This one's kind of cool. Treacherous track. Let's try again. This is one where you kind of got to know in advance. You got to know the route. Nah, that's bullshit. Why would they put a ramp there if you're not supposed to take that ramp? Taking that ramp was a mistake. Should have just, should have ignored that ramp. Again. Oh, come on. So, you've... How did I... I did it the first time without taking the ramp. And now I can't... So, you can't... Uh, that's... The, you can't bridge that gap at that speed. You're going to sink. So maybe I should go slow there then. Maybe I should just slow down here. Take this jump. And then slow down to get the right angle, and then speed boost. Now where? Oh, bullshit! Oh, come on! They put a post? They put a pole right in front of you as you come out of the jump? That's troll. That's trolly. 
So you that's what I'm talking about. You gotta know in advance. There's no way you're gonna predict that. So you've gotta yank left or right hard as soon as you come through that gap. again can you reach the end of I don't think I can reach the end of this <laughs> evil voice <laughs> poor rivet I'm giving her a workout Okay, over here. I went through what? I went through the rift. I went through it. So how come it didn't trigger? I went through that. I made that jump. So how come they didn't make me teleport? I don't understand that one. They cheated me on that one. I made that jump. It's frustrating. Go again. I I feel cheated on that one. I made not that one there, but the one before it. I made that jump. I timed it. I went through the purple opening and they denied it. They made me run into the back of something. Bullshit. Now I lined that up. Now there's a pole right when you come through this. You got to go hard left or right. Where am I going? There we go. There we go. Gold bolts to unlock the rewards. That's what uh, they were saying yesterday, right? So there's one more to do. We have a gold bolt. So you need the gold bolts for your rewards. So the last one, that's what you were saying. Hi, Lady Red. That's what you were saying. It was you, right? Yesterday saying... Do the chow the arenas for the rewards, right? Defeat the undead Grunthar. So this one is going to be a boss fight, and I can use anything I want. And I'll, my reward is some kind of boots. Yeah, you were saying it. So what I did was to start today's stream, I said we would go and finish the the arena level we were doing, and then we'll go on with main story after this. Like kind of a warm up. And boy, am I getting warmed up. That shotgun only fight was rough. And the, 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 the obstacle course, the, the running on the snail wasn't so bad once I knew the route. But uh, okay, let's do this. So this looks like it's a boss fight. A grunther named Sue. I'll use the sprinkler for you, Pip. You haven't seen that, have you? The sprinkler thing? Where is it? Here it is. Oh, it's a skeleton. So we got like a, we've got like a sprinkler bomb we can use. Turn it into, uh, see that? You turn it into, and then throw bombs on it. Oh, 
and then redo. We gotta re up our ammo. Oh shit! Did I lose that ammo? Or did I get it? I'm out now. Where's my health? I'm still 30 out of 30. Let's go some regular shots. Rain shots. They're not very powerful, but... Oh, now the minions are coming in. I need more ammo. Health is good. Is he down to 50? Dodge. All right, sprinkler time, sprinkler time. Okay, get the enforcer going here. Health is good. Sprinkler time? No, I'm out of sprinklers. Are they giving me any ammo? Can I pick it up? Oh, I can pick it up. Nice. Uh... I'm out. I'm out. Okay. Oh, uh, I don't have any sprinkler ability. I have any. There we go. I got a sprinkler now. Can I use enforcer? Grenade I just got? Is that a grenade I did? Oh! Stay away from me, jerk. Sue, you gotta go! What do I got left? Uh, distance rain shot should do it. There it is. Woo! That spray, I love that. I love the sprinkler thing. This is a great game, Pip. This is a lot of fun. This game is really colorful, really good. Sprinkler seems like cheating. The sprinkler is really good. So we finished the bronze level. So that's good enough for now. Um, so what does that do? Does that unlock a reward? So I got, for that fight, I got two uh, level ups for weapons. And does that unlock a reward back at the store? Which is, I know, which is outside the bar. The gold bolt. So let's go see uh, the weapons dealer. You've gotten a little quiet back there. Everything okay? I may have slightly misrepresented the difficulties of building a dimensionator. Well, I mean, sure. We all knew it wasn't going to be easy. Yes. Um, so let's go see this lady. See if she's got. We can upgrade our weapons, right? What is the gold bolt? There we go. Lightning rod now in stock. What does it do? Let's look. Laser beam? No! It's the lightning rod! Finish them to send the lightning toward their troubles. It's like a taser. Oh, I see. So you shoot them with it, and then they. they if there's anyone near them, they get zapped. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. How much? 8,000 bolts? Um. Ever dreamed of tunneling straight to your enemies? 
A drill hound. The dream of reality with the drill hound. What does that do? Did you sure Terrell approves of the chain lightning gun? <laughs> what does the drill hound do? So it's like it's oh it's like a you shoot you shoot it into the ground and it tunnels to your enemy, does it? That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. So those two are available. So there's Mr. Fun Guy. That's the that's the like distractor dude. There's the, the negation con uh, collider. How much cash do I have? 22,000. We could just buy everything, right? And then play with them as we want. So that's gonna be 10, 18, no, we can't. I don't have enough for all of them. Let's pick one then. Which one do you feel, like lightning rod? Should we do the light, Terrell would approve of the lightning rod, right? Let's get the lightning rod next. What's got the most power? Go Range. ahead, Chuck. That is a great deal. The lightning rod does a lot of, hmm. It's a fast weapon. The ricochet, that's the one where the, the bullet bounces and hits the same enemy multiple times, right? The fungi is a crowd control. They do they do damage. You like Mr. Fungi? He's the cheapest. <laughs> you know you want it. That's the little jellyfish dude, right? That's the, He shoots out the little jellyfish. Oh, it's like a throwable. And it does like a little jellyfish dude that... All right, he's the cheapest. Let's take one of those. Let's take him then. Let's buy him then. He's the cheapest. And then I can do my upgrades. We'll do him next then. You are really gonna be the life of the party now. Uh, Lady in Red, do they, uh, do they make your weapons wheel more, do they put more slices on the weapons wheel? Or do you have to, or do you only get like four sections, like, like D-pad sections, and you have to choose which weapons you want to equip on it? Or do they give you more? No, or as you buy more weapons, do they increase the, the weapons wheel uh, options? Uh, upgrades you want to do next, right? More power is always a good thing. I think I want to upgrade the sprinkler. I do like the sprinkler. So what can we do to upgrade the sprinkler? Toper enemies take additional damage. Increase splash radius. What's this one? Increase sprinkler lifetime. That would be a good one. That means if I'm in a crowd, I can put the sprinkler down and anybody that comes into my zone gets sprinkled. I like that. Uh, how many? I've got 30. Wow, I got a lot. You get up to four wheels. Four wheels? So, so you press triangle to get the wheel and then you go left and right on the D-pad to cycle between the wheels? Is that what it is? Let's buy that. Did I get the jet boots already? Yeah, I think so. I think they gave them to me automatically. Uh, Topier enemies take additional damage. I want those for sure. Give me those. Give me a greater area of effect. Okay. Okay. And can I get this one? All right, even more lifetime. So I got super long lifetime. Enemies killed have a chance to drop healing. Yes. Oh, I already have. I already have the gold ones. Do I? I don't have to buy those. Okay. So then let's get these things around it. Additional damage. Greater area of effect. Look at me. I'm going all out on the sprinkler here. What's this? Increase max ammo by two. Wouldn't mind that either. Additional damage. More lifetime. Now those... There we go. Enemies been. killed have a chance to drop the healing nanotechs. So since I got all the things around it, I lit up the gold. So what, since once you buy all of the things around the gold, that's when you get the gold. Okay. So I should buy these, these, all these things around the sprinkler. I'm going to go crazy on the sprinkler here. Because I want the extra ammo too. Topiaries last longer. Yes. Buy all of these. They're all. They're only a dollar, and that way I'll get more uh, shots with it. There we go. Max ammo increased by two. Beautiful. After 175 hours, you finally finished your 
BG3 playthrough. You're done with it? You finished it. Congratulations. One of those days I will do a dark urge run in Tactician. Don't know what that is, but uh, I'm assuming that that's a harder level in Baldur's Gate. Congratulations, Terrell. Well played, sir. All right. Um, let's... Let's power something else up. You know what? I might just power up my blast pit. Oh, wait, no, the shatter bombs. I want to upgrade these because once I put the guy, once I put them into hedge mode, I throw bombs on them to, to knock them down. So I want to increase my bomb juice. So what is this here? Increase ammo picked up from crates by two. I wouldn't mind getting that. I only have to buy one thing to do it. Shots fire at a higher rate. Buy that. That gives me the nice gives me the increased huh? ammo. These are sh uh, shards detonate after a moment, dealing secondary damage. What does the increase, just generally increased damage, look like? Is there one? They fly through the air faster, have a greater area. If there's no like increased damage on the the bomb, is the bomb shuts fire to higher? There isn't. What's this? Secondary damage. So I got to buy the things around it. So that's gonna cost me, yeah, I can do that. One, two, three, higher rate. I don't really know why they would say a higher rate. Do I care about that? Uh, Spencer, hey, what's going on? Jeremy, man, thanks for the gift and the Spencer subs. just subscribed. Thanks for gifting the subs, Jeremy. Nick, welcome in. Spencer, welcome in. Thank you, Jeremy. You're a man among men, sir. Appreciate you. Nick Boop just subscribed. <laughs> Mick Boop. Mick Boop. Mick Nick Boop. And Sp Spinster. Nice to have you guys here. Courtesy of Jeremy Skills, sir. Thank you so much for those gift subs. All right. I think that's it for now. I've only got five uh, upgrade shards left. Well, let me look. Let me look. Um, the Executioner. What could we do here? with five. One, two, three, four, five. I couldn't complete that. There's nothing I could complete, right? Is there one that's more damage? Shots go farther. Increase max ammo. That would be good. I was crying about my ammo in that last challenge. Maybe I'll go with that. More ammo. I'll take three. I'll spend three of my five. More ammo. More ammo. More ammo. There we go. That's it. I've got two uh, shards left. Now, the next question I have is, uh, what about, uh, what about, uh, the golden bolt? What do I do with the golden bolt? Is that just a collectible? That's gotta be, here we go, gold bolt. What's the golden bolt for? I know I got one. Are they just collectibles? Gold bolts. You found a gold bolt. Each one grants you access to a unique reward or cheat. So the unique reward here is a wrench skin, is it? Yeah, it's a wrench skin. So I can pick a wrench skin. Q force. Wasteland or bubblegum. But how do I know what they look like without leaving? I have to, okay, Rebel. What does Rebel look like? So if I select that, and I look at my wrench, my wrench looks like that, like a hammer. Okay. Oh. If I go back, switch it to Q Force. It still looks like a hammer. What am I doing wrong? Still looks like a hammer. Oh, sorry, boys. Uh, am I doing it wrong? Bubble gum. Bubble gum. Still looks like a hammer. I don't see any difference. It's supposed to be a skin, isn't it? A wrench skin. Well, there's my wrench. They all look identical. 
Am I doing it wrong? I must be. Obviously, I'm doing it wrong. I don't know how I'm doing it wrong. Gold bolts. I haven't collected any robots. I haven't collected any of those uh, special artifacts. I have one gold bolt, and I could pick one of these skins. What's going on, Frosty Beam? Nice to see you. Cheers. What's happening? Oh, thank you, Lady in Red. Sorry, that's exactly what it is. It's the wrench, not the hammer. Rivet has a hammer. See, I'm glad I have you flying my wing. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Of course, I'm playing Rivet. I'm not playing... I'm not playing... Uh... <laughs> I'm not playing Ratchet. That's what it is exactly. It's going well, Frosty. I hope you're doing well. What's on your mind, sir? You always compare yourself to bigger content creators? Like who? Give me an example of somebody. No, that's probably a mistake, Frosty, to be honest. That would be like... That would be like a person that works at McDonald's comparing themselves to uh, Jeff Bezos. People at a higher level have more power, money, and freedom to do things that are beyond the reach of us mere mortals. You have to, you got to climb the, you, you got to, if you're on the first, second, third, fourth, or fifth rung of the ladder, you got to think about the sixth, seventh, and eighth rung of the ladder. It's good to have goals and be inspired by, but I don't know if I would compare myself to. Because you're just going to set yourself up for disappointment or failure if you compare yourself. There's no way you could compare yourself. That's like me comparing my swimming abilities to, to, uh, uh, what's the name of the American swimmer who won all the gold medals? Phelps, Michael Phelps. All right. All right, let's go on with the main story, chat. We're ready to go. So press R3 over there. Yeah, Michael Phelps. I should remember. I should. Michael Phelps. I should remember his name because uh, he used to come uh, come and play in our casino all the time. I've met him a bunch of times. Because... Uh, he was uh, under 21, so he would come to Canada because gambling and drinking in Canada is 19, and he was going to the University of Michigan at the time. Let's get these boxes. There's my ship, chat. Is that where we're going? Yeah. Let's go. Are we going to meet up with Ratchet? Uh-oh. Hello, Dimension. I know I've been away for a... You know how long. <laughs> so, I thought we should catch up. What have I been up to? Oh, just speaking with my adoring fans. <laughs> I like the multimedia the style theory. of this game. And, finding out and the humor. Two, two insolent lumbaxes running around trying to ruin everything. So, I'm offering a bounty of three squillion nefarious freedom coupons to anyone who can bring me those fuzzy miscreants, dead or alive. But preferably alive, so I can have some fun with them first. My elaborate spy network indicates that they'll be at Blizzard and Safali very soon. So, get to it! And if those Lombaxes are listening, <laughs> just know that I'm going to crush you into dust. And then I'll blast that dust into a sun, and then I'll and come then! to the sun! And then now I'm on two nefarious I like the all the environments this game has. I like the way they tell the story with different styles of gar graphics and cartoony styles and I like and and the voice acting's good. This is a this is a really my Pip, you would enjoy this game. This is a really good game. So 
Skartsu Debris Field is where we are. We came here to pick up the part which we now have. We've done that. So we have a choice now. So we can go to Savali or we can go to Blizzard Prime, right? So if I go to Savali, find I the Dimensionator find Blueprints. Soon. Ratchet heads to the Dimensional Archives to learn how to build a new Dimensionator. Hunt for Lombax lore. A lone monk is searching Savali for relics and Lombax may be the key. You already wishlisted? Yeah, it's worth it. It's good. It's really good. And um, I've had a few stutters. I've had a few stutters. Maybe you noticed some when I was fighting those guys in the arena on PC. But it really hasn't been that bad. I know you have a PS5. Maybe it's a good excuse to get another game for your PS5 so you can turn it into more than an expensive Netflix box. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's really good. Maybe it's probably better maybe to get it on the PS5 as it was originally designed for the PS5 if you have one. I know it's got like an 8.5 on PS5. But it, uh, quite honestly, it hasn't been an issue really. Yeah, your PS5 is a Blu-ray player now. Yeah, well, I haven't had it. I mean, I, I'm running on a... Uh, my, my system is just designed for 1080p, right? I'm only on a 5600X, AMD 5600X and a 3060Ti. Uh, and I haven't had any issues so far. Or we can go here. Blizzard Prime. Find phase, phase quartz. quartz. Here we come. Fine. You know what? Let's just do these in order. Let's just do them in order, chat. Let's go here. And we'll do the optional thing first. Hunt for the Lombax lore. Let's do that. Well with Let's go there. We'll just we'll just go straight down the list. We'll do them in order. Savali. Ran like a top on your PS5? Yeah, I would imagine it does, right? Because this was kind of back in the day, this was kind of a show-off game for the PS5 too, right? If I knew how to build a dimensionator, where would I be? <laughs> Time to play as right. Oh, now I can change my wrench colors. Let's have a look at these things. Okay, so whatever wrench I'm using right now, where can I get into the light here so I can see it? Okay, there we go. So I got this. Yeah. I got this thing, orange, orange wrench. So now let's look at this. That's the wasteland wrench, I guess. The bubble gum wrench is probably pink, right? Yeah, that's pink. We got the bubble gum wrench, or we've got. Gold? Gold might be good. Is that gold? It's hard to see the gold. I guess it's gold. It's hard to see though. It doesn't stand out. Default Rebel Q Force. Rebel is what? Rebel is red. Okay. What's Q Force? Q Force is green. And that's it, isn't it? I think the red, maybe Rebel, it stands out more. Wasteland, did I do that one already? Wasteland was the original. No, default. Default is what color? Sort of a silvery color. I think maybe Rebel, the red one stands out. Let's go Rebel. Oh. Ah, come on. Rebel. There we go, we'll go with the red color. Are you playing it, Jeremy? It looks amazing on 4080. Yeah, it looks, I mean, even on, on what I'm playing. I'm, I'm 3060 Ti running 106, 107 frames right now. And it looks good. I don't need any, uh... oh, maybe I do, because I haven't, I haven't, I haven't spent his, he gets the same loadout, right? I don't have to buy twice, do I? He gets, yeah, he gets the same loadout. So he gets the same loadout and levels. Does he have his own Raritanium? Or is it the Raritanium share? Does he only have three or four? Let me know when you find something you like. Yeah, he's, he, they share it. Okay. So. I might upgrade my Shatter Bombs. I do like my Shatter Bombs. What can I upgrade, though? I don't know why flying through the air faster and throwing them at a faster rate is important. That doesn't seem to be like anything I really care about. But you have to buy them in order to unlock other things. I think I might just get increased area of effect. Now they're costing me... Oh, there's still one each. There you go. 
That's good enough. Leaving so soon? That's good enough, lady. All right, let's go. So what's my goal here? Uh, now I'm playing as Ratchet. Does it give me a... Oh, there it is. Find the Dimensionator blueprints. So it's the... Okay, so when they showed me the options for the missions, they weren't necessarily telling me that it was with Rivet. Find the Dimensionator blueprints and hunt the Lombax lore. Okay. So the Dimensionator... Where's the Lombax lore? Do they show... Oh, it's way up here. I guess we should do the blueprints first then, eh? All right. Let's go. Hey. Hey, uh, look who it is. It's question. Gary. Hey, Gary. You didn't happen to know anything about building a dimensionator, would you? Ratchet? Ratchet! Gary, <laughs> your your reputation precedes you. Yeah. You'll need to go <laughs> to the interdimensional archives. My apprentice can help you. But uh under attack how did you know <laughs> it's Gary Gary I'll go check it out I think I still remember how to stop an invasion so I'm guessing these nefarious guys are looking for a Lombax well yes that did tip me off that you'd be coming good luck ratchet all right let's go that building just beyond the town. stop the invasion of monk town Sniper bot? That's a new one. It was not my fault that the lost. Can I get rid of that dude? Max got away. An intruder! Something fun! Oh jeez, I pissed him off. Maybe I should throw a grenade on him. I don't know if I can even knock him out. Oh, yes, I can. this thing oh it's this is the one this thing is launching them are we still alive all right going up there what's down here though is there some stuff to get Gary is the dude. He's the man. Where are they all coming from? I thought I got rid of the nest. go. Can I get up there? What's that jellyfish looking thing? See that? What's that? Can't hurt it. Back here? Can I get up higher? I'm trying to find a sneaky... Sneaky. Ah, oh, God! No! Okay, I'm trying to be too clever. What's down there? We got a little robot. Oh, look at this place. This isn't even where I'm supposed to go, is it? I'm supposed to go over here to the... Over here somewhere. My objective is not showing up on my map. Wait a minute. Am I blind? Am I not seeing? I guess I gotta go deeper in to see it. 
Do they bring folks free drinks to keep them playing? No, that's uh, not a thing here in Ontario. No. That would be considered, by Ontario standards, that's considered predatory, Jeremy. Get this guy. Enforcer time. Get enforced. Wow, the upgrades are good. The upgrades are good, chat. Where's this guy up above me here? How's my health? I'm all right. Look at these guys everywhere. Who's that rapid firing on me? This guy's strong. The force is strong with this one. How's my health? Nine! I'm nine health? Oh shit, where's the health at? Are there any health boxes around? I need health boxes, chat. Retreat! I need health boxes. I don't see any. Could be in trouble. No? Okay. What am I now? Two. <laughs> Shit. I'm in trouble. I can hear my heartbeat. Are there any health boxes around anywhere? No. I can't go that way. Ah. This guy's strong. Ah! <laughs> Another town saved. Now about those archives. They're predatory in Vegas then. Well, it just depends on how you look at it, I guess. I mean, that. what's the reason for serving free drinks? The reason for serving free drinks is to uh, get you in the mood to gamble. Um, but the argument goes, the argument goes, should the company... Gary said his apprentice is at the arc. How much... Uh, should you be babysat or should you be free to choose, right? So Canadian government kind of takes it along the line of... Uh, do, they call it duty of care in uh, Canada, Jeremy, where you're trained to all bars and restaurants that serve alcohol or places like a casino are trained to recognize the signs of intoxication. And you have a duty, the, the companies have a, in order to maintain their license, they have a duty of care to uh, uh, stop play on an intoxicated patron uh, and uh, stop serving in a bar so there's drinking and driving and all that kind of stuff or you could lose your license right so you have to uh organize and arrange you have to cut them off organize and arrange a way for them to get home safely unless they're staying in the hotel uh all that kind of stuff it's called duty of care in uh in in vegas i don't know what they do i don't know what the laws i think the nevada is kind of like the wild west where like it's all left up to the individual 
So there's a level of freedom in that, but then there's also, I don't know what their statistics are on drinking and driving and, and uh, all that kind of stuff. No ideas. Plus, there are laws. I mean, there are laws in Vegas. I mean, like, Metro cops are all on the strip and everywhere. And if, if it's illegal to be drunk, it's illegal to be publicly intoxicated in Las Vegas. As funny as that sounds, because everybody's running around drunk out of their minds on the street, right? But it is illegal. But the cops won't. It's kind of like jaywalking. It's called, uh, what do they call that? Discretion of prosecution. The, the cops aren't going to, like, arrest you for being drunk. But if you go and, like, sit down in the middle of the road or start fights or publicly urinate on a building or um, start throwing up everywhere and laying on the sidewalk, then they're going to pick you up and arrest you, right? They have the ability to arrest you for being intoxicated. So technically, they could just grab somebody on the street and arrest them, and they, that would be legal, but they're not going to do that. It's like the same idea if you're driving down the highway and you're going one mile an hour over the speed limit. They could arrest you. They could, they could pull you over and cite, give you a citation. They're not going to. But they do have that. I mean, it's discretion of prosecution. Where are we going? Did I get all the things? I think I got all the things in the area. We're going over here. There we go. Now it's showing up. Quite the landing. Who are you? Sorry, I... You look so familiar. I'm Ratchet. I'm here to find... I think it was Gary's apprentice. I need to build a dimensionator. Oh, dear. Well, there's little I can do, seeing as my archives are walking away. Hmm. How do I get back up there? You sell security devices, no, you will not sell a product you know won't work well, for your maybe, clients. Uh, you find out... Maybe we could... It's for a stupid... You, yeah, so you have... I do not make a great partner. Sure. Hmm. It's like, um... How about this? If things go badly, which they won't, we go our separate you ways. You don't want people... No asked. Team? Using your products for nefarious sure. uses. Team. For now. Oh, what do we got? In order to reach the archives, we must rescue the monks from Nefarious' forces. Here, these hover boots will help us travel across the mesa quickly. Hover boots! Nice. How do we use it's them? It's like a glove, but yeah, perfect. Oh, they're a little hard to control, but I get it. Oh, they're a little. Speed up to make the jump off that bridge. They're a little hard to control. So I want to run and jump through that 127 meter jump, chat. We're going to do this. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Wait. Do I have to control that or is that going to control it? Oh, I have to wait for it to be facing the right direction, do I? What's run again? Run is left stick, okay. Okay, we made it. We will need help from the monks, Gary's acolytes, to reach the archives. They should be in their temples. First stop, temples. Hey, I never caught your Hold name. Hold R1 and press oh. L2 repeatedly to I accelerate. I KT7461. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm to remember all these. What's over here? Which way do I want to go? I want to go this. Oh, there's a bunch of directions. There like, are three temples nearby. Three. The mountain temple, the primeval forest temple, and the temple, the Badlands. We call it the Badlands Temple. Let's do the uh, mountain temple first. Let's do this one. Ah! Hey, wait! Isn't this where I just isn't this where I just came from? Oh, maybe I should go over. Here. What? Okay, wait. There's one in here. Wait. Go to my map. Go to my map. 
So I've got to get across here. There's probably another jump over another part of this island then. Why don't we do this? Let's make the jump across and do the optional thing. The Lombax lore. Let's do that first. All right, let's go back. What's this thing in my way? Is this in my way? Can I jump on it? No. It's roaming around town. Let's go to the Lombax lore. Let's do this Lombax lore thing. Should be on my HUD. It's over here. This is the optional thing. Hey, what's going on, Jekyll? How do you make an egg roll? I don't know. How do you make an egg roll? Do you mind if I ask <laughs> you push it? Da -da -da. As a lombax? Uh, sure, but I'm not really an expert on the lombaxes. I'm kind of the last one in my dimension. You're not wrong about that. You're not wrong about that, Jekyll. Yes, I know. You do? Who's this guy? Is this Gary again? Gary's, apprentice. Gary's in a yoga pose. Whoa, can it be? A brother Lombax? You uh, know we're not related, right? Chow, we are. By our mutual thirst for knowledge. Check this out. A shrine the Lombax has built ages ago. He's a monk. Is he? Is Gary a monk? Ancient info. But only a Lombax can unlock its secrets. If you could bring me three lords, I'll hook you up with a sweet piece of armor I dug up. A Lombax shrine? I'll totally help. Radical! One last thing. Shrines won't open if there are bad vibes nearby. So if there are, you'll have to clear them out. Clear out the bad vibes. Find three Lombax lorbs. Lorbs? Do they put them on my... Do they put them on my map? They don't. They put the shrines on my map. They don't put the lorbs on my map. Let's go up and look at this shrine thing. Break the altar to collect the lorb. One of twelve. You found a mysterious lorb. These artifacts contain voice recordings from the past. So, I had a weird meeting this morning. Caden came in. Apparently, the council liked my mapping work on Zavali enough that they want me to expand it. By mapping every dimension. In existence. Yeah, that might be impossible. So I'm looking for shrines that look like this to collect lore. And I gotta bring him three. So let's uh, zoom around this island a little bit. What the hell is that? It's going too fast for me to catch up. Also, we're going to be near uh, some of the, the main objective stuff, too. We can do that while we... We can kind of do kill two birds with one stone. We can kind of do both missions at the same time, yeah? Because we're near that. Yeah, see, we're near this. So let's do this while we're here. Can I go in the water? Hey, there's another shrine. Perfect. I got to clear out the bad juju, too, right? Okay, maybe my okay? maybe my shotgun will work out oh, here. Sorry. I've not been this place to fighting for a long time. We good? All right, let's get this thing. Ba -ba -da! Bam. 
Let's listen to it. Uh, here. Entry number two. Okay, I thought about it over lunch. I don't think it's that impossible. I'll just need the Dimensionator, which Caden loaned me. Uh, you're in three weeks, which has You can catch up to that UFO guy? And never sleep again. Work starts tomorrow. Maybe you're dumb, but you're a believer that people who work 300 days a year in a field should protect and advise people. Uh, and let's be honest, skimming on the predatory element of casinos won't make them start to lose money. They'll just make less. <laughs> there, well, there's just certain, like, there's a big difference between uh, gambling laws and rules in Canada than there are in the States. Um, although there's been some changes lately to the way they organize it but in canada in the states you can privately own a casino so that's why you have like trump casinos and win casinos and you've got corporately owned casinos whereas in canada the federal government uh, leaves it up to the provinces whether they want to opt in or out of gambling and then the provinces if they opt into gambling they uh, they have to they have to own it. They have to own the license. It has to be controlled by the province, the government. And then so you can't privately own a casino in Canada. So all of the casinos in Canada are owned by the government. They own the license, and then they contract a management company to run it. And there's a there's a contract deal. So you're never going to see like a, like a privately owned casino at the, at least at this stage in Canada um, and the and the idea behind it is is that that's why in, that's why in Canada like if you're in Canada and you hit a big slot machine jackpot or you know some big lottery win like 12 million dollar lotto 649 or whatever none of it is taxed you get all of that money tax-free whereas in the states if you hit a big slot machine jackpot or whatnot they immediately take a big chunk of it for taxes, right? They give you a W-2 form or whatever it is, and they take a huge chunk, 30, 40% in taxes, right? It's because the government's not gonna tax you in Canada because they own the casinos and get they make the money from the casinos um, minus, their, minus their management fees um, that they give to the company that's running it. Um, because they don't want to run the casino, they just have to own the license. So, so it'll be like a double tax. Like if they're making all the profits from the casino, and then you win a big jackpot, and then they tax you on top, it's like a double tax. So, then, so everything is tax free in Canada. Gambling wins. You got the lorb. Nice. Now you should be. Sorry, you said red. Uh, the green rotating arrows mm -hmm. on the ground excel. Oh, really? No respect for any of them. Let's teach him some. Do the casinos force people to leave if they start winning? No, 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 no. What it is, Jeremy, what it is, is what you're talking about is a thing called advantage play, right? It's um, obviously if you're cheating or you're doing something contrary to the rules of the game, then they're going to stop you. Um, but if you're just winning, if you're just winning because you're lucky or, you know, you're just having a good time and you're winning, no, they're not going to stop you. But they, they might make a deal with you. Like if you're a whale, like if you're like a Jeff Bezos character and you've got the bankroll to sustain a sizable loss until you get a sizable win or some, some, some scenario like that where you could potentially affect a casino's bottom line in their quarter or, you know, their earnings share you might get approached by like um, a, a, a host or a, a senior shift manager or something and they'll make a deal with you they'll say you know uh, like a stop loss agreement like i'm we're obviously we'll let you play like let's say you're playing baccarat uh, you know five hundred thousand dollars a hand or something ridiculous they might make a deal with you and say obviously we're in business to make money and we're a business and we want you to gamble but we don't want you to put our turn our lights out uh and not have us be able to pay our bills so we'll we'll float you you know 12 million win or 12 million loss so it's fair for you and fair for us if you lose 12 million you're done if you win 12 million you're done they'll do something like that right um if you're like let's say you're you're uh counting cards in blackjack they might stop you if you're doing that but to be honest 
blackjack card counting is overrated. That you remember you ever saw the movie Twenty One? That whole that whole scenario doesn't really work anymore in casinos because casinos have multiple decks. They don't have the same. They don't pay blackjack the same way they used to. There's no a lot of the rules are taken away, like surrender and and splitting unlimited numbers of times, and a lot of the rules and things that make that edge in the player's favor with a favorable count on on a deck are gone. So there's you can still do it. You can still get a small edge, but the amount of bankroll you need to sustain the swings. Because basically you're betting when counts are high and you're betting big when counts are high and you're betting small when counts are low. That doesn't mean it's going to work, right? So you might bet really big when the count's high and the play dealer gets a blackjack and takes all your money. So you have to sustain the swings. And the edge that you get is so small that you need this huge bankroll with a lot of risk to make a little bit of money. And it's going to be extremely, it's going to be extremely obvious to anybody that's watching your play, if you're going from like a $100 bet to a $10,000 bet and then back to a $100 bet, they're going to immediately, that's going to immediately attract attention and they're going to watch to see how you play and they're going to count along with you. And if they notice that you're trying to do that, they may or may not stop you because quite honestly, most people can't do it properly. Uh, most people don't have the bankroll to do it and most times the casinos are going to win on that deal. But if you show a consistent pattern of winning, they could, they could pull you aside and say, you know, obviously your blackjack skills are really good and we can tell that you're an advantaged player and we're in we're in the business of making money and we don't mind having winners, but we don't want somebody coming here making a living on us. So you're welcome to play any game you like, but you're done playing blackjack. They might do that to you. They might list you, blacklist you if you like for blackjack or something. But very honestly, the amount of paranoia that people have about casinos doing that and the actual amount they do is way different. Like Casinos don't really mind that stuff too much, to be honest, these days. Because the, because it's not like, back in the day when it was like single deck blackjack with all the rules and stuff, then yeah, that's a big difference. But now it's like eight, nine, eight, six, eight decks in a shoe, hitting on soft 17. Uh, all the rules are in the favor of the house, so they don't really worry about it too much. As a First Nation Canadian, you never pay taxes. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, let's go. Shit! Enemies! Wait, let's let's bomb these guys. Nice bomb option here. Boom! Take that, you rebels. I'm glad I increased the uh, range of attack on my bombs. I don't think I leveled this gun, though, did I? Oh, I did. Shotgun here. Stay down! Let me go re-up over here. Where's those boxes at? Where there's some yeah, right here. Shotty rush! Holy moly, there's a lot of there's a lot of dudes in here. Let's try this guy. We haven't tried Mr. Fungi yet. How good of a distractor is he? Can you have more than one? Can you have more than one? They don't seem to just they don't seem to distract him too much. I don't think they, I don't think Mr. Fungi is very distracting. He doesn't seem to be di very distracting. Let's just blow these guys up. Wow. I didn't realize there was a boss in here. Time for some sprinkler action. I gotta, I gotta slow all this shit down. Come 
Am I low on health? I'm half health. Let's go get some boxes. No health boxes here. Ah! Nine out of 40! Hit the box! Why can't you hit the box? Get out of the arena! Get out of there! All right. This guy right here, this guy's gotta go, chat. Is he gone? He's gone. Now what? Range? Let's get up top. Shotgun. Back up! Ah. I will get out of there. We must free them from the force field. Ratchet, I must use that terminal to free my brother. Woo! Quick's teaching us the foundational principles of the industry. Appreciate you answering the questions, Jerry. No, no worries, Jerry. No worries. You enjoy the off-game conversations? Oh, awesome. I'm glad. That's what this channel should be, right? Just a blend of gaming and chatting, and I enjoy it, too. Didn't I get the shotgun? Did I get the rhino? This is what I have. No, I did not get the shotgun. We, we bought Mr. Fungi, remember? We bought Mr. Fungi, not the shotgun. The next thing we'll buy is the shock. We'll buy the uh, Mr. Evil shockwave gun. We didn't get it, no. Which one's the rhino? Is that the one uh, that tunnels into the ground? We can buy more stuff for sure. We didn't get it at the time. Okay. So this is freed up because we got everybody knocked out. Did I get all the things though? I want to make sure I get all the things here. Um, I think we got all the things. So we got to do, what are we doing with these guys? Is this the, is this the main mission? It is, okay. Use the forest temple console. Are these the monks? Um. This oh yeah, they're just like Gary. You said Gary was a monk. It will take some time to disable the force field. Take as long as you need. I'll handle these guys. Oh, this is like a destiny mission. I've got, in the main I've got my ghost no, that's on me. using the computer. Okay, these are the stronger guys. They're flanking me. They're flanking me, chat. Kobe. Oh, I'm out. I'm out. Um, what can we do? Gardening? Let's, let's uh, shotgun these guys. How we doing? How we doing? Who's coming in now? Hover boots. Preparing. Everything going okay? KT seven four six one. Sprinkler! Shotgun. Oh, sorry, that's uh, my boy. I'm 5 out of 24 health. Mm. No, I'm not. That's experience points. Ammo. She needs assistance. Oh shit. 
Ow! I need health, don't I? Damn it! Damn it! I knew I needed health. So I have to start. I have to start the fight all over again. Oh man! Okay. So I need to do it a little bit more efficiently. <laughs> Where's my health? 33 out of 40? They're not affecting her right now, right? So are they going to advance or are they just going to triangulate? They're just going to triangulate. Okay. Who's this dude? Oh, he's just he's just landing more. Do I gotta get rid of that guy? Is that what it is? I gotta get rid of this dude. Can I get rid of that dude? 25 out of 40, that's not good. Is there any health around? I see ammo. I don't see any health around. Do I have any bombs? I do. Bombs. I don't think I can sprinkle her that thing. I have to distance this thing. I'm 9 out of 40. I need health. Where's their health at? Is there any health anywhere? Ah! I need health and I don't see any anywhere. There's ammo up here. Oh, over there, maybe. Fifteen out of forty. Damn it. I gotta throw grenades on it? Down? Okay, nice. Now, where's that other guy? Is he down too? Brothers, 
I am relieved you are all right. It's like so wonderful to see you, Sister KT7461. KT7. Did troops find the other temples yet? Not sure. But we'll let Brother Gary know you rescued us. Good luck, Sister. <laughs> Brother Gary. One temple down, two to go. Gary's probably the leader of the monks. Stay strong. I know the monks are trying to stay strong, but they are unfamiliar with the cruelty of the emperor. They'll be all right. We're here. So we've got one of the objectives down, and some of the side mission stuff. Seven four six one. Yeah, man. So what's this? This is another temple. No, that's a temple that we did. So we should keep going around the perimeter, looking for more temples on the way to this next. On the way to this next monk shrine, right? So let's keep going around to our uh, left. Hey, the monks call me sister. That feels more like a title. Let's try some out. How about Katie? Uh, I got it. Sunshine. Your nickname. Because you're yellow? I do not think so. What's that Cute. thing right there? Uh, we'll keep working on it. What is that? Is that? Oh, that's a grapple point, isn't it? Yeah, that's okay. That's a grapple point. Is there health over there? What there is. What did you want to know about the Lombax? We believe the Lombax is used and perhaps built the temples here. Do you know why they would have built them? Not really. I guess it was to keep knowledge about the Dimensionator hidden. I see. Thank you, anyway. Okay, so we want to go down this way towards the next objective. Right? Yeah, it's over there. 476 meters. We might run into another shrine on our way. What's that over there? So how'd you get to be Gary's apprentice? It is a long story. What's this? I am lucky that Gary saw potential in me. You seem different from the other monks around here. What's this? <sighs> I know. Go. Don't fall. Is this like a challenge Don't thing? Fall. Oh shit! Ah, fail. <laughs> it's a pocket dimension. It's cool. Who is playing? Playing. He always has my back, no matter what. Where is he now? Helping me stop nefarious. But ah, oh, that's hard to do. That's hard to do. Try again. Anyway, so I gotta get straight on to this well, so I can see it better. Dr. Doctor? That's hard to do! It won't, it, I gotta get up high, do I? You gotta get up high. First one's super easy. Together? Yeah, but he's traveling with someone else. A new best wow, I can't. I'm having, I'm struggling, I'm on struggle bus with that. It must be just the perfect May angle for it. Based on the observations of the monks? Sure, go ahead. Even if Plank does become this other person's best friend, he will still be your. Making friends is not like cutting uh, off. Okay, there, we got it. There is enough to go around. I see why Gary made you his apprentice. Pretty wise. Thank you. So I gotta know exactly what I. Okay. Oh no, this one looks rough. This one looks rough. Let's try it. What the shit? How come I went? How come I went flying off of it? Ah, oh, they put me all the way back. Speaking of best friends. You have one? I. No. I never have. Not even Gary? He is more like a big brother than a best friend. How about this? I'll be your friend, and we'll work our way up. This. I. Do not okay. think that is wise. How come they told they. In a in the beginning of this game, they told me to press the Doctor, circle to wall run. You not want to be my friend. But now it no seems like I don't have to do that. Because I am not good for others. I didn't mean? press circle once. Me? I double jumped no, to the wall and it wall, it wall ran on its own. 
Now it doesn't seem like you have to press the circle to wall run. Like, I'm not using the circle to wall run anymore. I just gotta touch the wall, and he does it automatically. Is it because of my new boots? Damn. Yeah, they they never explained that. They never said you didn't have to wall run anymore. I gotta ask, what's inside the archives? Knowledge from our galaxy and beyond. Everything from cross-dimensional ah. ah. Try again. That's tricky. Come on, archives. Let us up there. I promise that once all of my brothers are safe, we will be inside the archives in no time. Okay. This one took you a few tries? Yeah. It's because they keep turning the angle. It's you got to hit that wall. You got to get the height and the angle and the hover just right. And you only got a split second once you come off the wall to figure it out. Sometimes it's a blind. Okay. What's this? Well, look at that. Mm -hmm. GG's! What do we get? Lombax Praetron boots. Is that is that just like a what is that? Is that a collectible? Is that like a No. It's armor, right? Those are Buccaneer Breachers. Carbonex Advanced Boots. Praetron Greaves. Those are just collectibles, though. You don't get any... Um... It's an armor perk. Oh, oh, sorry. Yes, you do. Plus 5% rare titanium earned. Plus 5% bolts. Damage from pirates reduced by 5%. Probably the raritanium, right? Because um, because you want to get more raritanium for upgrades. Let's put those bad boys on. Oh, it's a whole it's a whole leggings set. Do I have any others that I'm not explored? Melee damage increased by five percent. No collection bonuses for any of these ones. They give you a ton of outfits, right? That's pretty cool. They give you a lot of stuff you can wear. So the the so the only helmet that I have this one. So we should put that on. Same as with uh, same as with rivet. And what about here? I don't have. Oh, I do have some vests, but nothing that's nothing that gives me a bonus yet. Okay. I just came from this direction, right? So we're going this way. You collect pieces of sets to equip. Do you get a set bonus if you get like uh, a lot easier if the archives all just, three of one set collected? You know, lay down. That would be convenient, but unfortunately, it believes it is in danger. <laughs> it's not wrong. All right, that was cool. That was cool. I like that. So that's, uh, you get armor bonuses on those little pockets. What'd you call it? A pocket... something. <clears throat> pocket dimension. Okay, so the shrine is over the, oh, sorry, the next monk setup is over there. I haven't seen any more shrines yet. There must be one around. We only need one more shrine, right? Didn't he say just, I know there's 12, but he said 
bring three back to him for the mission. These guys friend or foe? They seem harmless. <clears throat> what do we got here? Another pocket dimension? Let's do it. It doesn't look that impossible. Maybe this question is silly, but why do the archives have legs? No, oh, come on, what? How did he not jump up? <laughs> Shit. How did he not jump across and automatically jump on? There we go. Where are these force fields coming from? <laughs> well, we're in the stream chat. Oh, they got bombs now? Let's make this a little easier. Fun. These are tricky. Have you ever read anything about the dimensions getting like this in your studies? Gary's uncle could play extensive practical jokes on each other across dimensions, but no, nothing like this. hold of the end of that how do they choose at the very end of that no 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 he's not gonna wall glide on that I had it. his feet were on that it's weird all right but once we grab those dimensionator plants we'll get everything back to normal <laughs> They did it again! Son of a bitch! I must admit, I have not looked at the Dimensionator blueprints in some time, but I know we will find them quickly in the archives. Me too. The sooner we can save the day, the sooner Clank and I can get home. What the shit? They're throwing me in weird... How do they... Put his feet on it and glide him, but glide him around the backside of it. tough. Fair, tough, but fair. What do we get this time? Armor? Looks like I'm dead. 
here. No, another helmet. That one's fun. Captain Star oh, Shield helmet. Mentions breaking apart can be fun. <laughs> what does that do for you? Captain Star Shield plus five percent XP. No, I'll keep the one I have. I'll keep the increased melee damage. Are we not back where... Are we not at the exit? Where am I? Am I not at the exit? Oh, the exit's over there. The exit is down there. Jesus! Jesus! Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey, Ripping Reaper, how are you? Is this our first game crash? I spoke too soon about the game running really well without game crashes. This is our first game crash. I'm frozen. Damn it, we were doing so well. Um, okay, one second. Okay, uh, give me a second. I'm gonna have to kill the game and uh, restart it. That's our first one. So they're not fully patched. Is it selecting it? There we go. So it's not fully patched. Apple trees, what's up, buddy? How are you? Let's uh, refire it. Where's Steam? Did you hear that some people are complaining about Starfield for a variety of reasons? Meanwhile, you've been enjoying Sea of Stars, a throwback to a bygone era where games delivered on the hype. The hype train is real. Sea of Stars game of the century. <laughs> Love it, man. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'm glad you're having a good time. I've heard, it's all like, I was looking in the news and everything is like Starfield, 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 Starfield. There's like a million and one mods out for Starfield already. And I haven't like really looked, delved deeply into uh, like what people are thinking about it. Because um, I, I haven't really watched a lot of content for Starfield, but... What's the consensus of those of you in chat that are playing it or have watched it being played? Is it, uh, are the accolades outweighing the complaints or are the complaints outweighing the accolades? See if stars get run on a PS1, not a graphical game. Starfield is just another Bethesda game if you like that kind of thing. All right, let's go back. I wonder if they're going to award me that parkour run we just did or if I'm gonna have to redo it oh it looks like we came right back in where we left off does it I'll know did I get the did I get the captain hat or not uh oh I'll know if I have the captain helmet right I do there it is captain star shield so we do we did complete it nice okay so we don't have to do that again well I'm glad you're enjoying it Apple um I have yet to look at it. I've been busy this work at work. These guys don't look friendly, chat. We gotta bomb these boys. They're trying to slime us. They're strong. They're strong, chat. Uh, let's give him the shotgun. Shotgun to the face. No, don't fall. No, what are you doing? What are you doing? That's <laughs> just me. That's my luck. Now where am I? Where am I now? I'm in a different phone. Where am I? Okay. We did this. This is done, right? So we're over here. And these guys are dead. No, they're not. that green slimer? Is that Taco Bell attack? Okay. 
Oh, it's a shrine they're protecting. Okay, we found we found this is our third one, right? So we only need three for Gary, don't we? You were watching the charismatic co play it. It seems worthy of a play, so it seems pretty good. I was watching a little bit. I was lurking in Pippity Poppity's stream a little bit uh, on breaks, on my breaks at work. I didn't have a really much of a chance to look at much, but I was lurking in Bit and Pip's channel. He was in a store, and he was like, what do you sell at this store? Do I care? I don't know if I care. What's in this store? What do you have? <laughs> he was uh, looking at a, in a merchant shop. Let's do this. Three out of three shrines. The leg armor is yours if you bring those lorbs back to me. Leg armor, chat. Do I want leg armor? Let's listen to it. Let's listen to the recording. Entry number three. Why does entry number one still have a tag on? Oh, there we go. Map my first dimension today. Pretty standard stuff, except the colors there were so vivid, like, whoa. And there were these creatures. One of them even looked like a lombax, but... But he had smaller ears, a mask, and a cane, and I think he was pulling some kind of heist. But whatever it was, it looked cool. It looked cool. It's like No Man's Sky rubbish on release, but in time, it's an amazing game. So that is probably what's going to happen with Starfield. So you're going to wait. I'm kind of waiting, too. Ripping Reaper, I'm kind of waiting, too. I'm wondering, though, if that is the case or if Starfield actually launched in better shape. If you want a fun game to play, this game is... This game's got all the things. Environments, arcadey action, cool voice acting, cute little quests, fun enemies. <laughs> Not that I'm comparing this to like a game the size of Starfield, but this is definitely fun. What's this? Oh, it's that thing again. You said we could, you said we could catch that guy. What's he doing? Is he like... What's this dude doing? Are you leading me to my doom if I follow you? Can I catch this guy? Oh shit. I'm a bad driver. Where'd he go, chat? I lost him in the sun. Oh, there he is. Is there a reward for catching this guy? Now what can we do? Oh, it's a golden bolt! How do I get it, though? Can I break the force field? Can I do a slam? I want the golden bolt, you son of a bitch! <laughs> I don't know how to get it, though. Do I stand on this, on the green? What if I stand on this? Oh, he stops. Ah. How did this get here? Okay. I did. <laughs> it was that easy. Okay, we got it. The official release is the six. Maybe they're testing a few things, and then a major update is going to make it better. Yeah, that's right. It's not actually out yet, is it? It's not out until what is that? Wednesday. That's a weird day to launch a game on Wednesday. That's unusual, isn't it? Isn't it usually like Fridays or Tuesdays? Tuesdays, I they used to launch a lot of games. Okay, where are we going? I gotta look at my map now. I got the bolt. I'm completely off course. This is where we had the big fight, okay? I know where we are. 
Okay, so we're going back this way. Now that I've got that thing, we're going down here. Going down here. We already went past these guys, went past that. We did this shrine, the shrine is done. So this is, this is where we were last. Okay, this is where we were last. So now, we're going this way. We got a cave over here, what's in the cave? Nothing in the cave. That's the island. We know that there's a thing over there, right? Yeah, there's a thing here. We know that. I haven't finished like exploring this this area though. How do we get over there? I guess we got to go on these stepping stone things. So we'll put a marker here. Oh, I can't mark that. I'll just go just go along the side here. What's this? Something here. Is this a hidden shrine? I probably have to stand on a bunch of these. Something's gonna rise up out of the water, isn't it? Oh, I gotta get the force field. Oh, I see, okay. More. Do I have a time limit? No, uh, I bet it's a time limit. Is it a time limit? Must be a time limit. No? I gotta do them in the right order? I gotta do them in the right order? around the other way maybe there's more where does this cord go so this is where it ends so I got to start here and, and maybe I started at the wrong end probably started at the wrong end can't go any faster than this there we go there we go. Okay, we're back to going over here. We gotta find those stepping stones to get across. Yeah, I, I noticed that. I noticed that at the end there, that the, the lights were blinking in a certain direction. I didn't pick up on that right away. I'm not that smart, Lady in Red. I'm smart like dump truck. Okay, there's stepping stones somewhere. Is that a step? Oh, there's more stuff down here. What's that? Oh God, it's another one of these deals. Okay. Can I go on these backwards?
Don't get stuck. All right, so do I have to go through the portal to start this thing? Huh? Oh, that's a teleport to go back to try again. It's a shrine. It's a shrine. Okay, it's a shrine. Okay, we need to do this. Okay. Come on! No way! I got blocked by the edge of the... Ah, oh, god damn it. Now I'm stuck, chat. Now I'm stuck. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> they put me a long way off. What's this? Those pillars seem to be different from the others. But I am not sure what to do. I can shoot them. One of these things is not like the others. I guess sometimes violence is the Bam! Oops. Those recordings are really quiet. Those are hard to hear. That must be a, they need they need to fix that. That must You've be a glitch. Always wondered what secrets laid within these lords. So where was that place? It was down over here, right? Wasn't it over here? Did I get... Did I get off the beaten path? Here it is. Here it is, so it's... Okay. Try again. Oh, God. Fail! Fail! Shit, just... No! Are they gonna put me all the way back again? They are. It sucks they sent you all the way back. You have to... fly all the way over again. Where is it? Down there? No, it's over here. Okay. Let's go. Boom. Third dimension was cubes. Really, really smart cubes. I don't know what else to say there, except that I might have to stop doing these for every dimension I visit, because there's a little bit less than an infinite amount left, and I could have mapped 32 in the time since I started talking. Kesmond1988 says hello there. How are you, bud? How's your day, sir? We're just kind of running around doing all things on this planet, because there's, there's a side mission which we've already completed. Although there's... There's 12... There's 12 uh, Lombax lores to collect. You only had to collect three for the optional, which we've done. So we could go back to Gary and get a reward for that. And then there are three shrines to rescue monks from. We've done one shrine. 
and we're right near another one so I've got to find these stepping stones we'll go over here let's do that next we'll go over here and rescue this uh, monk shrine doing doing good cats having fun this game is super fun super good time very creative I like all of the different environments and the sense of humor it has and the, the cool collection of different weapons that you can play around with. The fun combat, it's good. It's a good time. Very entertaining game. You get your money's worth. Very pretty game. Okay, now we gotta go rescue the monk shrine here. Done, both of you. You're ready to enter the mountain temple. Nice. Let's get well. There's probably some enemies around. Ready. You do need to overcome the temple's elaborate defenses. <laughs> or as we lovingly call it, the gauntlet of trial slash doom. Oh, I hate slash doom. You're ready for it, I'm sure. Best <laughs> of luck. Is that Gary again? But that's just a vision of Gary, isn't it? Because he's not taking my uh I have to go back to the other place to give him the stuff from the optional mission. So we got to ascend. So this is a parkour challenge. Hold our one and press. As fast as you can. This is a race car challenge. We made it. The next try. What did I do wrong? They sent me off the edge of a. They sent me off the edge of a cliff. What did I do wrong? Oh, you have to stop at each gate and wait, do you? So I have to stop at the gate and wait? supposed to wait we gotta fight or do I just keep going maybe I shouldn't fight because I'm on a timer no oh, it really helps if you know what's coming up right at least they give you a checkpoint so there's that Temple, where are they up here? Okay, get up. <laughs> I'm having a hard time getting up there. Get on this pot. There we go. Sniper bots. You can use the bot to your advantage here. I can use the what? The bot? So I'm gonna get the sniper bots to shoot these pods. Is that what it is? Where are they at? 
Where are the monks at? I didn't see them. They've got to be up top, right? I despise mountains. How could something be so tall without the Emperor's approval? Okay, we found them. One sniper bot down! What's this? Can't use that yet? Oh shit! Okay, can I uh, leaf blow these guys? Yes I can! That's right, we did it. <laughs> Please take me to that terminal so I can free <laughs> the others. Oh no, a Zeta virus. I cannot access Red the terminal with leaf blower. Leaf blower. Uh, sorry, not leaf blower. Sprinkler feels like cheating. <laughs> You made some plans for Tuesday with your brother? Awesome, what are you doing? Oh, cool, we're doing another one of these. Uh, these are cool. Those poor monks. Okay, I just need to delete the pods, which will clear out the infection and free those boys for a racket. Follow the yellow brick road. That one douche says damn Starfield is looking sick. Do you have ray tracing active? Hey, what's going on, one dude? How are you? Yeah, this is uh, this is the Starfield DLC. the little our little virus bug that's going in to kill the other viruses talks to us talks to itself I've got to find uh, another pressure point don't I somewhere can't go there Maybe I was going the right way in the first place. How do I get rid of you? I need to step on a... Must be one over here. Where's the... Is that it? Get a step on it? Now it's now it's killable. Over here. Here it is. Here it is. My electro guts can't even scratch them. Why is that not working? Can't get through the force field. This one I should be able to break, though. There we go. Come on! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> okay, I got that one. Where's the other one at? Holy shit! Right here, right here. There we go. Now where? <laughs> Oh, the sounds of burn. The sounds of burn losing his mind on uh, Vice City, on the on the Vance, Lance Vance dance pants mission. Save, save Lance. 
Where am I going? Where do they want me to go here, chat? What have I not got? I, that's the way I came in. If there's a place you gotta go, <laughs> I'm the one you need to know. I'm, I'm the, the map. map. I'm the map. I'm the map. Where am I supposed to go, chat? Okay, let's follow the perimeter. We killed that. We killed that. We killed that. All this is done. Am I supposed to climb this? Oh, maybe up here? No, I can't climb up. Go over here and push the button. Maybe I did the button too early. I don't know. I don't know where they want me to go. Doesn't seem like there's anywhere I can go. Over here? Oh, is this it? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Now where? Oh, this way? Okay, we gotta find the button. We gotta find the buttons, chat. Before I get hit. Where's the button at? Get this guy. Here we go. Which button did that do? Follow the... Woo! Okay, that's one down. There's another guy to do, though. Where's his button at? Where's his cord at? It's down over here. Where is he connected? Up top. I see it. Now where? Last time wasn't a fluke after all. I am good at this. Those are kind of cool because they're they're like three-dimensional puzzles that you have to try to figure out where you're going as well as what you're fighting and how to how to unlock the force field on the thing you're fighting. It's I love the varieties that the game has. <clears throat> Thank you. you guys are rescued! Go back to Gary, all you monks. Return to Gary. Okay. So, what is this, and why don't we have it? R three. Only one more. We'll find them. I promise. If there's only one more, why are they marking two on the map? Why are two being marked? That's my side. That's go back to Gary and give him the, the lore. And they said there's only one more. As I said. You should not but they're marking give too. me a nickname or be my my friend. I think you're being too hard on yourself. You do not know. We just met. I know Gary trusts you. The monks like you. Maybe give the whole friendship thing a chance. I will consider it. Secret Agent Clank also has a good story. Does Clank have his own story? Does Clank have his own side story? Um, I don't think this is the right way to go. Is this a bouncy thing? It is. Okay. I didn't realize that was a bouncy thing till just now. Looks like this cable runs back to the Badlands. I missed the trio of games where the super pop uh, that were super popular for the Ratchet and Clank, Jack, Jack and Dexter and Sly Cooper. I've heard of I've heard of Sly Cooper. Isn't that like a like a a thief raccoon or something? Or, or a thief. He's got like a, he's got like a, um, a mask on him. It is, yeah. Well, we definitely we can play those games, Terrell. I just, um, I thought Ratchet and Clank. It just intrigued me because this game just came out on PC and it was super popular on PS4 on PS5. So it's rare you get a chance to play a PS5 game on PC when you don't have a PS5. 
So I was excited to try this. We can definitely, hi, Forb Jock, we can definitely do a, a Sly Cooper. What would you recommend if we were to do a Sly Cooper game? Because, okay, look at it this way. After this game, I'm planning on going back and doing uh, the next one in the Ezio collection. Once we finish the next one in the Ezio collection, we could go and do one of those, like a Sly Cooper or uh, Jack and Dexter or whatever. What, which one would you, uh, what would be the best of those that you would recommend that we could do between the next uh, Assassin's Creed Ezio collection? Maybe there's one of those we could uh, fire up. What's this? I thought we already did this. The side mission stuff. There's a rare titanium over here I never got. Well, that's over towards the spaceship, though, so we can go that way after. Slide 2 is the best, but all of them are good. You love the Ezio collection? Yeah, we're going to... Yeah, once I finish this, we're going to go back and do uh, the next one in the Ezio series. And then we'll take a break again, and we could do something else. So if you guys want to see, like, uh, the Sly Cooper, if Sly Cooper 2 is good... Slide two and three are amazing. So we could do slide two and then go back and do the third one of the Ezio collection. And then depending upon uh, what we're in the mood for, we could do slide three after that, or we could do a different game. Or um, when does um, Lies of P come out? Because I definitely want to play Lies of P. That's pretty soon too. So we've got a bunch of options. Should I go and do this on the way, right? Let's go do this. This is, I think this is just take the uh, stuff back to Gary, right? Your pick is the Deadpool game? Is it good? Would, it, would playing the Deadpool game be wor uh, worthy? I can look into that too, Kez. I know you've mentioned that before. I've never played it. So this is one of these quick things, right? Bam. Uh-oh, 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 here they come. It's an ambush, chat! Blow him up. It's hilarious. Only Ratchet and Clank has the super HD treatment. So the other ones like Sly Cooper and uh, um, what was it called? Jack and Dexter are lower, are uh, more retro looking. That's okay as long as they're good games. I'm not, I don't, I'm not a, I'm not a graphic snob. If the games are fun and they're enjoyable to watch when being streamed. That's all I really care about, hanging out with you guys, having, laughing at my horrific parkour moves, or how I can't figure out the most simplest of things. <laughs> Cable, Wolverine, other X-Men characters appear, including Cable, Rogue, and Domin. See, none of that means anything to me, Kez, because I don't, I'm not a comic book hero guy, but uh, if the game is good, then uh, I'm up for it. By no means ugly, but not super HD, is it? Yeah, that's no, I'm not worried about that. Listen, I played Silent Hill on the PS2. <laughs> Can I jump that? Can I get across there without, is there, is there a better way across? Try it. Oh yeah, I can jump that. Deadpool is good for laughs, so you're in agreement with Kez. It's a it's a funny game to play. I'm up for it. We can mix it up. Have I played Guardians of the Galaxy? Yeah, I did play that. That was a good time. That was fun. Okay, let's go talk to Gary and give him his uh, things here. Get our reward. We're getting a reward from Gary, right? Mr. Gary? Hey, if you can bring me four more lords, I'll give you some chest armor to match those legs. Like what did we get? Wasteland gear boots. Let me look at them. Are they worth wearing? Or are my boots better? So currently I'm wearing uh, 
melee damage increased by 5%. No, that's the helmet. Hang on. I'm wearing... Uh, what am I wearing right now? Um, I'm wearing these. 5% rare titanium earned. I just got these ones. Damage from indigenous creatures is decreased. So decreased, I take decreased damage. You know what? I'm not that worried about it. I've got my uh, super powerful weapons. I'm going to keep my rare titanium boots on. More rare titanium, more levels, chat. I don't have any uh, cool armor yet with uh, upgrade ability, with any uh, upgrades on it. Okay. Have I ever played Dark Souls? <laughs> yes. I played Dark Souls a bunch of times, and I'm working on another playthrough of Dark Souls. I'm trying to no-hit Dark Souls. Don't tell Apple Tree. He'll he will mercilessly troll me. If he knows we're talking about no-hitting Dark Souls, I'll get mercilessly trolled. Because I haven't been back to it in a while. But uh, I've I played and beat Dark Souls, and I did a Soul Level One playthrough of Dark Souls. <laughs> and I am working on doing it again to no-hit it. But I'm not there yet. Okay, it's a work in progress. Don't tell Apple. He'll tease me. He'll troll me. Try a no death run instead. Could do that as a warm up. Could do a no death run and roll it into a no hit run or something like that. Where are we going? We gotta go for this. Uh... Where is it? What are these? Are these the... What are these? Lorbs. So these are shrines? So they're showing the shrines on the map now. Before they weren't showing them. So I guess once you get three, they show you the rest, is it? You get you you have to search for three, and once you find them, then Gary shows you the rest? That's not twelve lorbs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's only seven. Oh god, he's here! Oh my god! Well, you aren't doing a very good job of it. You've been wrecked in those games more times than I have, and I'm a Souls Borokino novice. <laughs> I told you, chat. I told you he was waiting. He's sitting there in the Makatuti onesie with the big bowl of cereal, just waiting for a moment to drop a gem. <laughs> chat. Nice to see you, Apple Man. Love seeing you, buddy. All right, well, let's go here. What's this thing? Where is it? Did I already collect there, up there? Up top of that? Oh, up there, okay. The trees have been so... It's like saying, it's like saying Candyman three times. How do you get up there? That's part of the puzzle, is it? Can I... I don't think I can step up, can I? Can you do like weird parkour jumps? No, I don't think so. There's gotta be a way to fly over from something. Oh, it's a it's a grapple thing, is it? That one douche says I ordered a book called How to Scam People Online two months ago. It still hasn't arrived yet. <laughs> I got a joke for you. I got a joke. It's only fair I tell you a joke now. All right. So here's my here's my joke. Uh, maybe you've heard this one before. So there's this guy named Dave. There's this guy named Dave at work, and he's telling his boss how he knows everybody. Like, he's super popular, and he's bragging. He's telling, he's telling his boss, I know everybody in the whole world. I know ev There's nobody I don't know. And his boss is like, bullshit. Bullshit, you know everybody. So he says, well, pick somebody. So his boss says, okay, Tom Cruise. So he says, okay, come on, let's go. So they uh, go down to Hollywood. They find Tom Cruise. They knock on the door. Door opens. Tom Cruise is standing there. He's like, Dave, come on in, man. Jeez, haven't seen you in a long time. So he's sitting there having some drinks with Tom Cruise. And his boss goes, he goes, I was just lucky on your part. I could have picked anybody. Maybe I just picked somebody famous that you knew. I just don't believe you know everybody in the whole world. He goes, well, go ahead. Pick somebody else. Pick anybody you want. Anybody else. So, so he's like, he's like, okay, how about the Pope? So, uh, 
So, uh, so Dave is like, okay, let's go to Rome. We'll go to the Vatican, and I'll introduce you to the Pope. And the boss is like, whatever, whatever. So they travel to Rome. They get to the Vatican. But when they get there, there's this huge crowd standing, looking up at the balcony. And Dave says to his boss, listen, he says, it's hopeless. We're never going to get to meet him like this. There's too many people here. Let me go and see if I can set up a private meeting. So the boss is standing there, and, and Dave takes off. Next thing you know, next thing you know, the doors open up and the Pope comes out onto the balcony and there's Dave standing there next to the Pope. And then the guy, and then uh, the guy on the ground, the boss, his boss uh, gets tapped on the shoulder by some guy in the crowd. And, he's, and, and the guy in the crowd looks at his boss and says, who the hell is that guy standing next to Dave? <laughs> All right, that's my joke chat. <laughs> How do I get over there, Chad? How do I get over to this thing? Do I fly? Maybe I can get up on that thing. Is there a grapple on this? Oh! Oh no, that's not going to turn. I don't know how I get up there. I thought maybe I could teleport across, but you can't teleport across. He fell off the balcony just as the Pope. Oh, I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it. Right here. Boom. Let's go. Bam. That's six of 12. That's on the way to the next shrine. Let's go do the next shrine. This is the third and final shrine over here, right? Ratchet, we must save the rest of them. We're going to. May I suggest determining the best point of attack before you are detected? Holy shit, they're all over you here, eh? So we gotta get rid of this guy. Shotgun! That's not my shotgun. How's my health? I'm 18 out of 40. I need more health. Up top. Okay. Oh, we got another one of these guys? Shit, more than one of these guys. Okay, uh, shotgun. Shotty rush. Let's go. Sniper bot, where? Oh, I see him. I see him. I see him. He's coming in. I don't have any grenades left. Damn it. Get his attention. Bring him in closer. Get up top. Leaf blow. Oh shit! Get him up top. I fell backwards. That one dude says if your blind partner tells you that they're seeing someone else, it's either great news or terrible news. Can't take much more of this. 
What was that, JFK? Your blind partner tells you if they're seeing someone else, it's either great news or terrible. <laughs> That's true. That is true. How's my health? 12? I need health. More sniper box. Jesus, how many are there? I don't have... Uh. I need more uh, gear. Oh God. All the fairy's forces have been eliminated. Thank you, Ratchet. They get up here. Happy to help and kick nefarious trooper butts. Exactly. That terminal. I must access it. Okay, let's go, chat. Let's rescue the monks. Where's the terminal? Over here. I love my shotgun. Is there, there's never a better weapon in a game than a shotgun. <laughs> shotgun is always the best weapon. Shotgun, best weapon. I am relieved you are also Although the sprinkler weapon is pretty cool in this game. The we gotta get the, uh, the next one we're gonna buy is the lightning weapon. Look at everyone to send you off in style. You made it! Oh, thank you both for freeing my brothers. Barry, we need help getting to the archives. It is urgent. Of course. Brothers, let's grease some dimensional wheels. After you. Entering the archives takes a leap of faith, Ratchet. So you better get a running start. Put this Desmond gun. 1988 yeah. says those levitating carts remind me of the boss in the Sonic games with the handlebar mustache and the bald head. And no, it's not Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Your dad asked that you... one dude says my dad asked me the other day, are you even listening to me? Which is a really weird way to start a conversation if you ask me. <laughs> There's a joke like that. There's a joke like that. Uh, how's it go? I said, um, my wife tells. How's it go? My wife tells me I only have three faults. One is I don't listen. And I don't remember what the other two are. <laughs> Master Ratchet, you bet. This game is really graphically pretty. Yes. Woo! They're already here. They'll destroy everything. This place will make a formidable war. A lot of frame drop in this area. Law, I'm down to 29 frames on PC. There's some optimization to be done in this game. I'm down to 29 frames. Oh, I'm back up to 106 now. Yeah, there's some work to be done on PC. Where are those big... There he is. There's those big ships. Um, what's the easiest way to get these guys? The archives run on a helix generator. Helix generator switch flip coming up. Do they want me to do flip a switch? What do they want me to do? Ignore these guys? I gotta get rid of these guys, don't I? I want to anyway. This thing? Oh, I can't do it until I get rid of the ships. Okay. How many grenades do I have? Grenades is the way to go here. I gotta get rid of the ships because they're just gonna keep on dropping enemies, aren't they? 
Aren't the enemies coming from the ships? Um, I don't think I can leaf blow them at this distance. I could try. Can I spray them from this distance? Not really. Oh, yes, you can! Oh, yes, you can! The leaf blower for the win. Are they coming back? Shit. I'm 16 out of 40, I need health. I gotta go find some health, here we go. Shit. How do I get back up over here? Little bitch. Sniper bot. Whoa. Oh, it's right behind me. Leaf blower. Other sniper bot? Damn. He's stuck. Some things in here are irreplaceable. The blueprints, the dimensions. Where have I got left? I gotta need some leaf blower protection in the area. Dudes! Can I get back up? What do I got? What do I got? I don't have any shotgun. What's left? What's left I can pick up? There's still another spaceship to get, right? Oh! That's it! I can do it! Oh, there's a lot of spaceships. I still don't have guns. Then go splat! It is the bonus we need! You are just in the way! Wow. God damn. Where's my health? 31 out of 40, I'm okay so far. I need a uh, sprinkler action. Prepare for the Emperor's glory to say all hail the Emperor. Um I don't really have much gear here. I gotta get the gear. Now what do I got? Bombs. Back up. Shit. Uh, run. I need help. Ammo. Is there more health around? Uh, uh, ammo. No. 14 out of 40. Shit. Damn it, I'm getting... I'm getting wrecked. Okay, I need sprinkler action. Prepare to be humiliated. Anybody comes near me, they're getting sprinklerized. Huh. 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 
Is there any more health? Do they give you more health? Oh, they do. Okay. Shit. He's gonna slam. No! No! Got slammed. I knew that was gonna happen. Let's go again. Get up. I'm gonna save my shotgun. My shotgun is too good to waste. Give you some bunk, sweetie. You are just in the way. Let's just go with this for now. I got a force field stopping me. I gotta stop those things. Is that what I gotta do? No. How do I get the force field down? Oh, I gotta get up through the roof? I can't climb on those. I must I must have to get that thing down, do I? Is there a switch I don't see? Is there a bolt to twist? Oh, back, back down below? Oh, right here. Oh, shit. Okay, I didn't see this. My, my bad. My bad. I, was, I wasn't thinking... Uh, I'd already done that, did that down below, so I wasn't thinking I was going to do it again. I know this writing anywhere. Lombax is... He must have built this. My dad was the keeper of the Dimensionator. The original one, anyway. He gave everything to keep it out of the wrong hands. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. Do you miss them? The Lombaxes? What's the name of this character, this robot? But Did they say, and I missed yeah. it? We got ra this is Ratchet, and we've got Rivet has Perhaps Clank. Day, Who's this them. robot? Is Let's this figure out if we can even build the dimension? Is this Rivet's first. robot? Can we? Yes. But the forge needed to do so is located at Kadaro Station, the most secure outpost in the galaxy. Kit. Okay. Well, Thanks. Well then, let's get moving. KT seven four. Ratchet. <laughs> I think Kit. Oh, there you go. I was there. They exp All right, there we go. Shit, it is. I just, there we go. They just told us. Kit. So we got the blueprints. No! We gotta go. We must protect the archetypes. There's no time. It has been fun, Ratchet. No, Kit's not gonna die. Is Kit gonna self-sacrifice for the greater good, chat? This is where we 
find out. Oh, here we go. It's where we find out that Kid is all powerful. Kit, you could have done this a long time ago and helped help the brother out. Why didn't Kit do this earlier, chat? Was Kit testing us? <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know whether Ratchet should be happy about that or that pissed amazing? off that Kit didn't do that earlier. It's just me. I, I could have died, Kit. I told you, I do not make a great partner. Sure, that was intense, <laughs> but it was kind of awesome. You do not understand. You are not safe around me. Oh. I was built to be a weapon. Oh. To keep the Emperor's galaxy secure. So Kit is kind of like Clank in a way, because Clank was supposed to be a weapon too, right? Was a rejected robot from the factory. Stop them. That it. So if Kit if Kit does too much bad, uh, Kit does too much weapon stuff, the blue eyes go red and she succumbs to the dark side. Is what I was built to do. Hurry. I am here to keep everyone safe from me. And that is why I cannot come with you. Well, at least this mission worked out, huh? Yes. I suppose it did. And if I remember correctly, our promise was that if this mission didn't go badly... You want to stay a team? You are very strange, Ratchet. I've been told that a time or two. Team? That's one dude says when I go to Just parties, I always bring my yes. teddy bear with me. It's I my plush it. one. <laughs> <laughs> your plus one, your plush one. But um, bump. That deserves one of these. <laughs> okay, we're gonna buy the. Um, wait, we're gonna buy the electrocution weapon, right? Oh, we got a new one. Give the boy Repulsa some sugar. And watch as it blocks and returns fire. The void repulsor. What's that do? Seals are boring. It is one of the facts of life. But what if a shield can shoot back? Oh, it's a shield. It's we don't block. Right? Chat, chat. We don't. We don't block in this game. We don't block. There's no blocking. There's no blocking. We all know this. So where's the lightning rod? Right here. Got the bolt, Eight thousand. What do I got? Oh yeah. We got the lightning rod, chat. Um, let's go to upgrades. How many... Uh, More power is always a good thing. I've got 20. What could we upgrade? The blast pistol probably could use a little upgrading. I don't use it that much. The lightning rod, the new our new toy. Let's upgrade this. Increase max ammo, for sure. Increase stun duration. All of that sounds good. More max ammo. More max ammo. Shots fired at a higher rate. Sure. Take, give me one of those. Give me all of those. Max it out. What's this? Increase stun duration. There we go. That's as much as I can do on it until I get to the next level, right? Still got 11. Still have 11 left. Um, these are my bombs. I, I use these a lot. I use these uh, grenades a lot. Blocking is cheating, exactly, Kez. We can't have a shield, right? No shield. That's one dude says Ferris wheels are predominantly made of steel. If it was aluminium, they'd be non-Ferris wheels. <laughs> well put, well put. You look like you could use a weapon upgrade. Air enemies in the area of effect take maximum damage. We want that, so we got to buy all of the stuff around it. So how much is that going to cost us? There's two of them, so we need one... Two, three, four, five. I need five. I've got. I can do it. So I want to buy these to get the max damage on my on my grenades. There we go. I do like the sight of that. Gold cells are unlocked. Max damage. Greater area of effect. Might as well finish that off. And uh, increase maximum number that we can carry as well. What do I have left? Four. 
Uh, let's put them on the shotgun, chat. We love a good shotgun too, right? So down here, we've got some gold. I can't get it fully unlocked, though. What is the, what is the gold here? Shots knock enemies farther back. Just pushes them farther back. I don't know if that really matters. What's this one up here? Inflict shot damage over time. I, that'd be kind of cool. And we can get it. We can achieve it. So let's do it. Shots go farther. <clears throat> Greater range. Damage over time. There we go. That's it. I've only got one rare titanium left. So that's it. I hate to see you go, sugar. We gotta try this uh, electrocution gun. Um, I think we're going back to the ship, right? Yeah. That one dude says I've been told that I'm either naive or stupid. I'm not sure which side I'm more on. <laughs> are you reading these from a book or are you remembering these, JFK? They're, they're good. Okay. Blizzard Prime. That is... base quartz is all yours, Rivet and Clank. Now, how come I don't have a check mark on this? Oh, because the Lombax lore isn't done. Um, this is not a 100% run. We don't have to get all the Lombax lore. We only got, we only had to do enough of the optional side stuff to get the, uh, to get the um, armor that we got, right? So how many are left to get? How many Lombax lores are left to get? Uh, there's seven left. They're listed. I mean, we could go get them. But I think I would rather carry on with the main mission. Oh, wait. There's a rare titanium here I never got. We should get that, though. Where's that rare titanium? Mark it. Let's get that. As a train driver, you have some alone time. <laughs> Let's get that rare titanium. So that's the key to good upgrades. How do I get up there? Oh, there it is. Oh, I see. It's a, like a little, it's like a little hiding spot. That one dude says a train conductor is driving a train with 50 passengers on railroad tracks. He misses the last stop and crashes the train, killing everyone on the train but him. He gets sentenced to death by the electric chair, but gets off a day. But get, gets, but gets offered a last meal. He accepts choosing just one banana. After eating his banana, he goes into the execution room and sits on the chair. He gets given the shock, but nothing happens. They give him the shock again, and nothing happens. They let him go, and he gets his... Are you still typing? You're probably putting the second part in, are you? Wayfarer, it is good to see you again. Oh, who's that? Is he gonna talk to me? Are you gonna talk to me, sir? Can I get up there? I don't know if I can get up to him. I don't think I can get up to him. He's just, he's just hanging out up there. It's like I can hover across. That one dude says they let him go and he gets his train conductor license again. He has 60 passengers, and the same occurrence as last time happens, and he gets the same sentence. Upon being asked what he'd like for his last meal, he chooses to ban him. He eats them and he enters the room and he sits in the chair and he gives them a lethal shock, but nothing happens. They try a few more times with the same result. They decide to let him go, and he gets his train conductor license back. He has 69 passengers on board.
So these guys don't really talk to you. They just kind of hang out. Okay. You know what? You know what, chat? We're here. We might as well. Let's get these. Let's get these. Uh, let's get the quest done. Let's do this off. We only have seven more to get them. Let's get them. That one dude says he has 69 passengers on board when he crashes and everyone but him dies. He gets given the same sentence but when he asks for three bananas as his last meal, they say no. I think the bananas have been making you invulnerable to the sea. To the chair. So he sits down on an empty stomach and when he survives multiple shocks again they ask, How are you surviving? We didn't just let you have any bananas. And he replies, it's not the bananas. It's just I'm a bad conductor. Oh, God. All of the, oh, that's a lot of typing. JFK. Hey, don't mind me asking. <laughs> for that groaner of a joke. Let's get, let's get all these things. Let's do the things, chat. We're here. Let's do them. There's one right here. So behind me. Back then? I'll mark it, I'll mark it. And we'll get it, we'll get it. Hey, at least you realized it, right? That's not you anymore. No, it is not. I am here to make the universe better. Not worse. Where's the shrine at? Over here? 15, 16 meters above me? How do I get up to it? Oh, it's up there? How do I get up there? How do I get up there, Chad? Secrets? Oh, here we go. Let's get the next one. That Please. one dude says, did you know about the crazy train driver? I hear he has tons of locomotives. I guess he is known to go off the rails. <laughs> train oh, jokes now. Nice work, brother Lombacks. I'm grabbing the chest armor now, so just bring those lorbs over and it'll be yours. How do I get back easily? Can I do can I go back the way I came? Oh here, no, that's the race car thing. What's, can I just do it like this? No, 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 no! How does he fall through? How does he fall through such a small crack? Come on now. Did I really just come backwards? Oh my god. Try again. All right. Let's get the next one. I marked it, didn't I? Didn't I mark it? I thought I marked it. It's over here. So, um, we might as well do these. It won't take long. Wow. It's beautiful. The locals are nice too. I can see why you'd want to live here. Yes. What is your home like? <laughs> well, it's definitely different. And we might find some uh, cool extra, like, secrets and goodies and stuff too, right? That one bitch says my boss said you are the worst train driver I have seen. Late again by more than an hour. I told him there was a guy that jumped on the track so I had to apply the emergency brakes. Boss tells me that this is dangerous to the passe. That one dude says, yes, I know, I retorted. But the guy just chickened out last second and jumped out of the tracks, and so I had to follow him all over the town to run over him. <laughs> you, you gotta be committed. Okay, how do we get up there, chat? There's gotta be, we, do we bounce on these mushrooms? Are these bouncy mushrooms? I don't know. I don't think they are. I think there's another route. Yeah, these aren't bounce. Yeah, these are not bouncy mushrooms. We've 
done this one, so we gotta go over here. That one dude says what did the train driver say when he decided to get over his drug addiction? I need to get my life back on track. <laughs> I get up there? How do we do this? Probably not like I'm doing it. Is there a grapple? Oh, there's a grapple. There it is. I see it. How do I get it to trigger? Go up here. Says, Ooh. how does a train driver operate a train while eating gum? He goes choo choo choo. <laughs> okay, JFK, enough! <laughs> They're getting more painful as they go. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Next one. Um, here. Oh, wait. Yeah, here. Over there. <laughs> I'll have to um, I'll have to get uh, some more jokes to share with you in reverse I don't have any uh, I think I've spent that one dude says if one train is leaving London at 145 kilometers per hour and another train leaves Paris at 210 kilometers per hour one hour later when do they meet Never. Train drivers in France are always on strike. <laughs> Is that true? Is that funny because it's true? We got a fight on our hands here, do we? Oh, it's one of these uh, speed deals. Oh, this is a long one. It is true, yeah. This is a long one, chat. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I wasn't that wasn't so bad actually. That wasn't so bad actually. Thought it was gonna be uh, a little bit trickier to negotiate. Okay, where's the next one? Up here. Let's hit it. We gotta take the ramp. <laughs> this time we gotta fight. This time we gotta fight. <laughs> oh, we wanna try the new electrocution uh, lightning rod weapon. That's, that's not the electrocution weapon. When you quick select, sometimes it doesn't select correctly. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good too. This is Emperor Nefarious's planet to blunder. Oh shit. Don't tase me, bro! That one dude says a pessimist, an optimist, and a realist look down a train tunnel. The pessimist sees a long, dark tunnel. The optimist sees light at the end of the tunnel. The realist sees that the light is an oncoming train. The train conductor S. <laughs> That's good. I like that's a good one. That's a really good one, JFK. All right, we're moving, moving, moving. Where's where are we going next? How many we got left? Um 
Return to the Monk Scholar for the Wasteland Chest Armor. Okay, so there's chest armor to get. There's still more of these to do, though. Let's get them all, and then we'll get all the gear. So he does give up more armor once you do them all. So there's five left. That's seven done. There's 12 total, right? So there's five left. So there's one here. Let's get them all. Am I gonna have to chase this thing? Oh, we already did this one, didn't we? Did I not take the shrine once we did it? I guess I, this is another one. It's the second one. There must be more than one of these. Gotta catch up to the grapple hook. This guy's moving fast, though. Come here, sir. Come on, get in range. Am I ever going to be able to catch this guy? There we go. There we go. Boom. Bam. Okay. That, oh, there's only one more. 11 of 12. This is the last one then. Nice. Let's do it. Going to jump. Oh, shit. I missed the thing. Where is it? It's over here. We're in a sand shark den. There must be a nest. I gotta get the nest out. Grenade the nests. Is there another nest I didn't get? Oh, 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 we got some other boys here. Let's go. If only you had passengers. You should like have like when you're driving your passenger train, JFK, you should have like a speaker. Like a microphone and a speaker and you can entertain your passengers as you're driving. They'd probably frown upon that though, would they? Your bosses would probably frown on that. They'd probably say... You'd have to clear the jokes of them first in case they... That one dude says I was on a train and this woman opposite looked at me and said, Every time you smile, I feel like inviting you to my place. I asked, are you single? She replied, no, I am a dentist. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! There it is. Another golden bolt. Boom. Challenge completed, chat. Okay, there we go. So now I've got to go back to my boy, right? Return to the monk. And then all of this section will be checked off and completed. Hey, Tarkus, what's up, man? How are you doing? 
not playing Starfield. Glad you're playing something else. Um, I might look at Starfield down way down the road, Tar, because I to me it seemed like one of those games where maybe Bethesda bit off more than they could chew, and it'll be good, but they probably have to spend some time fine tuning it and doing all the things and all that. And I'm in no rush. We're gonna play this, and uh, then we're gonna go back to the Ezio collection, do the next one of those, and then chat was suggesting maybe look at um, Sly Cooper 2 as another game to play. Uh, where's our, where's this guy at? Where's he? Right here, right? This is him here. So I'm, I'm, this game is awesome, Targus. Have you played this? This game is super fun. It's got a lot of like momentum and environments and fun combat and colors and graphics and voice acting and everything. It's got the whole package. I was about to leave this planet to go to the next main mission, but then the call of the side mission got, got to me. That one dude says I was sitting on a train next to a hot Thai girl. I thought to myself, please don't get an erection. Please don't get an erection. But she did. <laughs> Lady boy. <laughs> That's a good one, JFK. That's not one you could tell on the train, though. Wasteland gear chest. You just helped save Lombax history for generations. My brothers and I, thank you. It was an honor, brother. So we completed all of the sites. So I should have armor and helmet, right? There's the helmet. Wasteland gear helmet. Wasteland gear armor. Let's look at this set. So... Where's the Wasteland Gear helmet and what does it do for me? Is that it there? No, that's the cranial processor. There it is. Damage from indigenous creatures is decreased by 20%. Does it look badass? Oh, look at me now, chat. I look crazy. Where's the race waste where's the wasteland gear armor? this it here no didn't he say here it is so I got the whole wasteland gear outfit damage from indigenous creatures decreased by 20% now I'm wearing now I'm wearing the whole outfit so this is the outfit let's put this on because this is our reward this is our reward for uh, doing this for our first side mission completing our first side mission we got all the pieces all the parts We look crazy. I hope those Lorps brought you as much happiness as they did me, Brother Lombax. <laughs> because it was a lot. We look crazy. All right, so that is everything checked off. So now we would go back. There are some raritaniums we should probably grab. There's a couple of raritaniums up there. Should probably grab those, right? They're not that far away. That one douche says my boss said to me, you're the worst train driver ever. How many have you derailed this year? I said, I'm not sure. It's hard to keep track. <laughs> oh my God. JFK is, uh, is bombing us with the, uh, with the train driver joke puns. How do I get up there, chat? It's gotta be uh There has to be like a grapple or something, right? How does one get up there? Hoverfly from the other side? So over here? Somewhere over here? Ah, oh, here we go. Is it a, it's a jump. It's a jump, chat. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeehaw! Ooh.
Still not high enough, though. Come up here. Bam! Alright. We got one more right here. Let's go. Where's that at? That's back where we were, is it? Okay, check out the map. What is this? Teleport. That's just a teleport. Okay. Armored pod. Armor pod. Are those not things that we've done? Notice how, like, these ones, they're checked off, but these aren't checked off. Let me go look. What is this? Let me go see if it's done or not. Not done yet. Alright, let's get it. We're gaining on him. Oh. We were gaining on him. He's running. You can run, but you can't hide, jerk. I got the speed boots going. I went too fast. No! I had it and I went... Ah, I wasn't paying attention. I'll get it back. Oh, shit. I need that L1 to fire again. Can't get it closer than 30. I need the speed. I need the speed boost on right here. There we go. All right. <laughs> okay. Um so that's where we're going back to at the end of all of this. I think that's everything. What's, let's go to the teleporter here. That one douche says when there's thunder outside, everyone stays away from trees, but not me because I know I'm a bad conductor. <laughs> I bet there's a lot of train jokes using conductor as the as the pun, as the key key player in the in the joke. All right, now if we go in here, after saying I wasn't gonna do all the side stuff, then doing all the side stuff and getting a badass looking set of armor, we're checked off. There it is. All right, chat. Let's call that it here. Is all yours, Let's call it here. It's a good spot to hold it. We're going to head to uh, Blizzard Prime, the Blizzon Mines. Uh, so we'll just hold on right here. We'll head there tomorrow, chat, at noon. We'll carry it on. That was a lot of fun. I hope you had fun with me today. Come on! <laughs> you just want to tell Ow! more. You just want to tell more train jokes, JFK. I know. <laughs> Holy uh, shit! Let's. Uh, Let's uh, let's save this and uh, manual save. Let's save our our progress right here. We'll just save over the last one. Should I do that? Yeah, it's fine. Save over the last one. So that do, double do it again. Oh yeah, it's saved. Okay, there we go. Perfect chat. Let's call it there. Thanks for joining me, everybody today. I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed the train jokes. I hope you had fun zooming around and beating up all of the enemies and uh, progressing the story. 
I, oh Jesus, that's really rattling. Um, I don't know uh, if I'll do all of the side missions as we carry forward. It depends on how involved and deep they are and how many there are. Um, I don't want to bog the main story down in doing a lot of collection and gathering and side missions, but that was pretty that was pretty fun and pretty quick. So if they're like that, if they're like that, I'll probably continue to do it. But if some of them start to become a little long in the tooth, we may just stick to main story. We'll play it by ear, see how it is. Um, thanks for joining me, everybody. I hope you have a great day, whatever time of day it is for you. Is there anyone out there uh, streaming right now? Pippity Pobbity is streaming Starfield chat. I'm going to set the rate up. Go on over there. Throw your underwear at Pippity Poverty if you have it. Uh, and uh, check out some Starfield with him. I probably won't dive in there and watch the Starfield because I may play that myself later down the road, so I don't want to spoil for myself. But go on over there and uh, say hi to Mr. Pippity Poverty. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. See if you can take on uh, Pippity Poverty and the rest of the gang for some World Championship tomorrow. Take care, y'all. Ciao for now. Bye-bye. I'll send you over to uh, Pip as soon as I can.